being assaulted by a corgi. Do not send help. Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Express Lane, the show that brings you speed runs in 60 minutes or less. I'm your host, Oscar424, and uh, last week, or last time, you got to see one of my co-hosts, Galahad, and today, you get to see my other co-host, Freya. Hey, Freya. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Well, as she's saying hi to everybody, hello, uh, I just want to remind everybody that our registration is live for Awesome Games Done Quick 2024. Uh, if you'd like to attend the event in person, and that's from January 14th through the 21st, uh, head over to gamesdonequick.com for more info. That includes in attending registration and hotel booking. Uh, be sure to check out the schedule at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. And let us know what you're looking forward to seeing the most. I know I love you too, Freya. But uh, with Freya and her wonderful uh dark coating right here it kind of works that we have a very fun dark uh bat eared i guess picture so yeah we have three awesome awesome batman games we've got uh lego batman the video game coming up later we have batman vengeance as well but first you ready for this for you we have, I know, we have Batman Ark of Origins, Origins, words are hard on Monday, from Chicken Nuggets. So, Chicken, hello. Hey. All right, let me, let me drop the dog. Or put down the dog carefully. There we go. All right. So, welcome, good sir. Good to be here. And, yeah, tell us about, a little bit about the run, or if you just want to get ready, get started. <laughs> Be my um, guest. Yeah, so I'm Chicken. Uh, this is Arkham Origins. It's the prequel one, uh, as you could probably figure out by the name. Uh, it's also the Christmas one, and it's also arguably the less polished one, but for the speedrun, that actually works out. So uh, we're going to be doing New Game Plus today. We're going to jump right into that. Perfect. Yeah. And the time will start when I gain control here. Right about like black mask under the now. here now there we go so we're gonna waste no time getting into some nonsense here uh we're gonna do some whoops we're gonna do some dive roll cancels where you dive roll and then you spam the back law to cancel it and that's just a little bit faster than running um and we're into our first tiny unskippable cutscene here of many <laughs> there's there's a lot of uninteractivity in this game that is the greatest style of Batman movement that I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it gets better. Just you wait. Oh my god, I am excited. <laughs> so uh, this is this is one of Black Mask's thugs. They're uh, raiding the prison for reasons, I guess. Black Mask is the main villain of this game, for those that don't know. Um, the warden's kind of confused right now, so we're going to disarm him real quick. That makes sense. This is very early in Batman's career, so people don't necessarily know that Batman exists. Mm. Or they, like they've heard of him, but they don't believe it, you know? Gotcha. All right, so we're going to get into our first fight here. Um, so this is going to go by pretty quickly. Just going to punch this guy, punch this guy, punch this guy, chuck a bunch of batarangs, and then didn't quite get them all. And that's it. That's the whole fight. <laughs> so, uh... We're going to be abusing two big things in the fights a lot. One is quick firing multi batarangs, which you're not really supposed to be able to do, but the PC version lets you bind it. So basically, you can throw nine batarangs at once instead of three. So that's super helpful. And then combining that with the multi ground takedown, which has no limit on how many people it can take down, is uh, very, very overpowered. <laughs> and you just get that from the, the get go? Uh, it is an upgrade that you have to buy, oh, but since gotcha. it's New Game Plus, we start with you all already the upgrades. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a little nonsense here, throw this through the wall. It interrupts a little cutscene here that teaches you how to grapple. <laughs> More dive roll canceling. And we want to yoink that guy so that he's in place after this little cutscene. Uh, this is Killer Croc. We're going to fight him later. So this is an armored guy. You can't just punch the armored guys, but fortunately you can just backlaw them and knock them over and then do a ground takedown cancel on them. All right, another little fight, same deal. Spam batarangs to win. Oh, for some reason, 
the batarangs didn't target that guy. That happens a lot in this game. They just they just miss. That area of the floor is intended chicanery. Yep. <laughs> Get our first little look at Black Mask here. Sort of. Blink and you miss it. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, I saw Killer Croc there for a second, but... <laughs> yeah. These guys are trying to kill the police commissioner right now. I guess we care about that, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to stop that if we can. <laughs> Here. This guy has no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> and we're gonna dive roll while we blow up this wall so that this door starts opening during this little cutscene. The camera doesn't know what's going on either. Slightly better look at Black Mask here. There he is. In the hey! It was like twice as much cutscene time. Yeah. Right. Um, unfortunately, they got the commissioner. There was there was nothing we could do. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black oh well. Has a lot to for. Yeah. It's probably I'll, another I'll guy for the job. Yeah. They'll find somebody. All right. So instead of actually doing this fight, I'm just gonna try to do a strat here where you just go. Oh. Okay, that's not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> just kind of glide around the fight area into the door, and the door just opens for you. What? And now I can, and now I can do super fast dive roll cancels, because when you're in a fight, he, like, launches forward way faster. So then, naturally, the dive roll cancels are also even faster. <laughs> okay, that is cool. So Killer Croc's bad at his job. He forgot to smash the memory card. So now we have data on something, I guess. The story's going to get a little hard to follow, so don't worry too much about it. Let's say probably his dad on plot, and plot is a thing that sometimes exists. Yeah, sometimes, for a little bit. All right, so <laughs> this is Killer Croc. This is our first boss fight. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stun him, and then, oh, okay, he just decided not to be stunned there. Uh, then you're going to punch him a bunch of times. And then he's going to go try to grab one of those things to throw at you. So we're going to blow it up. And then we're going to try to ignore these random thugs as much as possible. But they might not give us a choice. Um, excuse me. Can you explode? There we go. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes Karak just says no to what you're trying to do. Right. There's, some, there's something wholesome about those dazed stars around Killer Croc. Yeah. Uh, so now he's trying to eat us. Um, we don't want that, naturally. Um, and then I'm going to try to jump over him and stun him again. There we go. Now we get to do another beat down on him. That skips one of the cycles here. Avoid being eaten one more time. Uh, cool thing about the bosses in this game, the health bars never actually go to zero for some reason. <laughs> Just a random fun fact. And that's Croc done. Um, and now we have our first of the longer unskippable cutscenes. So if our host Perfect. has anything to say, that would be... yeah. Well, chat, let me tell you, I have hooked us up with 24 Batman facts every Dark Knight nerd should know. So we are going to start going through some of these. Uh, first and foremost, did you know? Actually, chat really quickly. Who is the longest-running Batman of all Batmans? We'll like give in, in film. Just in general. Interesting. Yeah, or everything. Give them a little bit to, to think about that. Um, but it, I will say, I actually, uh, oh no. They've, they, this Batman has 23, 31 credits as Batman. 
And yeah, no, they've they pretty much know exactly what they're talking about. Kevin Conroy yeah. is it's a ten video games, thirteen animated movies, eight t- or eight TV series. Yeah. Uh, Over the course with, of thirty years, rest in yeah. peace. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I, that was a gentleman. Um, let's see. There's also this one's just for those that go to, that happen to go to the University of Victoria in Canada. Um, Curious about how Batman can manage what he does? Uh, Want to learn all trivia about the Dark Knight? The University of Victoria in Canada offers a curriculum on whether it is possible for the human body to achieve and tolerate what Batman manages to do. If you know the Cape Crusader, though, that's a tall order. And that class is called Batmanology. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of want to go back there. I kind of want to go back to school just to take that class. <laughs> so uh, so we scanned that memory card. Uh, we learned some plot stuff. Um, something about Penguin. I guess we're going to go try to find Penguin. Um, in one second here, we're going to fast travel out of the Batcave using the Batwing. Uh, so the way fast travel works in this game is you there's like these towers. You do a puzzle or whatever to unlock the tower, and then you can fast travel there. Um, naturally, we don't really have time for that in the run, but there is the one mandatory one that teaches you how the game works, so we're doing that one. Uh, somebody messes with the towers. We'll find out later, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's like, there's plot, possibly. We'll find out who it is, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Do a cool entrance there. So this area is like the predator tutorial, so it teaches you how to do stealth and stuff. We're gonna learn lots of useful techniques that we will definitely use in the run. That is out real quick. I say that is a very, very large shadow. <laughs> All right, so the the classic dropping a smoke grenade and grappling away. That's pretty important. We will use that one. A good way to get myself shot. And detective vision, of course. Probably the hostage too, but they won't expect an attack from above. Here's Nobody the classic inverted takedown, and that is the last time you're ever going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> and here is the takedown through the vent, another classic, and you'll never see it again. <laughs> They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. Here we've got a takedown through a wall. Another classic, Me. and you'll never see it again. <laughs> Even in a normal playthrough, you'd probably never see that again, honestly. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whatever you want. Please don't. My personal favorite, the ledge takedown. Ooh. Do we ever get to see that one, though? Nope. Hey! <laughs> Four for I'm, four. <laughs> I, I'm sensing a theme in this stealth area. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's a dead guy here, and uh, we're the world's greatest detective, so we're going to do some detective work real quick. Do the classic detective thing of scanning them with a computer. Um, we're going to interrupt Batman's dialogue here because we need to kind of get things moving here. We'll scan this thing on the wall. We'll get this really cool, like, crime scene reconstruction thing thanks to our bat computer. So we can now see that he was he was poking the screen on this panel and then it exploded. Some kind of explosion originating at that axis. Pretty nasty explosion. I should scan it for additional clues. I feel like the de- I feel like the developers were fans of Heavy Rain's uh, Norman Jane character and his exact ability to do all of this. That is very possible. And it looks like so as soon as Batman's done talking, I need to find a key card that this guy had. Um, it's right there. I can bypass the baby trap. We have to wait until Batman's ready to find it. Sequencer. <laughs> I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. He, he's new to this whole detective thing. He has to work up the courage to do stuff he's already done before. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's only year two. He's, he's. <laughs> right, now that's out of the way. We can scan this. this and once Batman's sure of himself, we'll hack this and then the we can leave. Towers access panels. <laughs> Whoops. Or I can just counter instead of aiming the gadget. That's fine, too. Yeah. All right, so this is where we would find out who is responsible for all this stuff. Alfred, but actually, we're just going to buy an upgrade. Oops, this one. 
and that reload checkpoint. And now it is not our problem anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're making our way over to uh, Penguin, except we're not really going to do anything with Penguin. Um, so if you are familiar with this game and you're looking at the estimate and you are looking at how far in we are, you might be a little confused as to how exactly we're going to beat the game in under an hour at the, the pace we're going, because we're like still in the early, early game here. Like, mm -hmm. how is that going to be possible? And um, the answer is very simple. We're just not going to do two thirds of the game. Fair enough. <laughs> just, just, just gonna go right past it with one fairly simple trick. I love that. There will be some complications after the fact, but the the actual skipping two thirds of the game part is surprisingly simple. I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. For now, we're just kind of following the objective marker, but that's just coincidence that it happens to be in the same direction. I don't matter. It's like the bat signal is the marker? What? Lies. Yeah. Oops. Not quite optimal gliding, but that's okay. So around this area is Bane's headquarters. Uh, Bane's in this game, and um, later in the game you go there, but it turns out you can kind of just go there now by doing this. Um, this wall isn't real. <laughs> Fun fact, that wall also exists in Arkham City, and it also isn't real in Arkham City. They just they didn't oh fix it in God. either game. I love uh, that. Yeah, unfortunately, I messed up the glide. The glide is difficult, but it's simple. <laughs> Might take a couple tries. Just how it goes. There's right <laughs> a lot of lot of invisible stuff inside of this little corridor here, so Gotcha. Gotta avoid it all, not go too high, not go too low, etc. Okay. We are through, so now that we're nice. all the way out of bounds, um, we just gotta glide to this thing. I think there's a the comment in chat that uh, turns out Batman can breathe in not wall. <laughs> it's it's Batman. Batman can do anything. Yeah, he's just holding his breath. Yeah. Alright, so now the sewers are fully loaded in, so now we just gotta glide over here and go through this door. And this puts us inside Bane's headquarters. Unfortunately, all the triggers for Bane's headquarters are just here. Um, so since we entered from the wrong side, we came in from the wrong side, but that's okay, because this is also not real. <laughs> I feel like this is suddenly becoming a Batman fever dream where just nothing's real anymore. I'm here for it. Learned something kind of important there, maybe, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Probably won't come up later. All right, so since we came in from out of bounds, we sort of have to leave from out of bounds too, but fortunately, just get on this railing and then run over here, and then we can go in pretty much the exact same way we came in originally. Once we're out here, we're out of bounds again, so all we have to do is just do this, and then if we open the menu at just the right time, we can fast travel back to the back cave. Now, the game is a little confused about where exactly we are, so this cutscene's playing at the wrong time, and it's going to reference things that didn't happen, which kind of feeds into the whole fever dream thing. Yeah. None of this is real. Uh, fun fact about this cutscene, specifically when you do it in the speedrun like this, sometimes Alfred just is standing here. What? <laughs> and sometimes there's like multiple Alfreds in the Batcave because of it. The worst. Unfortunately, we did not get it this time. 
It's like Alfred's just trying to keep track of everything that we're skipping the, just, just so we know later on, oh, by the way, this yeah. happened. So one thing about New Game Plus in this game that's weird compared to the other games is you don't actually get all the gadgets at the start. So uh, we're going to pick up the glue grenade right now because that'll actually be really important. And one super, super unfortunate thing about not having all the gadgets is that we don't have the shock gloves and going to get them is way too slow. Um, but you do kind of need them to beat the game. So we're going to have to do some shenanigans to get around that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to make our way to the bridge, because that's the next story thing after Bane's hideout. Uh, Firefly's attacking it. So, at this point, do you just not have to do anything between where you were initially and uh, Bane's area? Yeah, as far as the game is concerned, you are in Chapter 7, I believe. Oh, wow. So it just, yeah. It just straight up skipped everything. But funnily enough, if you want to, you can actually, in an, in an older route, we would actually go back, do a bunch of stuff to get the shot gloves, and then progress from there. Oh, gotcha. So, like, you, you can do things super out of order. It gets very weird. But the modern route's much more straightforward. Gordon would never order a breach if he knew about Firefly's bombs. And I've got, got to, to tell Gordon that there's bombs on the bridge so that he doesn't ruin everything. To to try to get in here without getting spotted. Perfect. It just goes through the floor and then comes back. <laughs> Shout out to that guy right there. Don't send All right, now we've talked to Gordon, we're just going to leave. Normally you're supposed to keep going through here, but since we don't have the shot gloves, we actually can't do that. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get onto the other side of this door here. Um, there's not like a convenient wall or anything to just go through, so we had to get pretty clever to figure this out. Um, so if you've ever seen an Arkham City speedrun, you will be familiar with freeze grenade climbing, where you just chuck a bunch of freeze grenades to go up. Um, unfortunately, they did try to patch that in this game, uh, but fortunately they didn't try hard... Wait, hang on. Fortunately, they didn't try hard enough, because it's still a thing. <laughs> I gotta throw about 68 of these to get enough height. So what's oh, basically going to happen is I'm gonna go all the way above the like world and I'm gonna go above the barriers that prevent you from gliding outside of the main world area. Um, and then I'm gonna load in a different part of the city so the bridge deloads. And then I'm just gonna go around to the deloaded bridge, load it back in from the inside and then go through the door. That's a lot, I'll, we'll, you'll see when we do it. <laughs> Um, where are we at? 53. 60. 67, 68. All right, so now we're going to glide this way until the diamond district loads in. Okay, now the bridge is unloaded, so now we just got to glide all the way around <laughs> these load triggers. I love that you've confused somebody in chat. They wrote, uh, I was gone for two minutes and you're hovering. WTF. <laughs> Perfect. It, it's, it's just it's just Batman things. It's it's yeah. just Batman things. That really is the correct way to experience the speed run. <laughs> <laughs> Almost back to the bridge. And we can just drop inside of it. Um, and then if I glide back this way, whoop, why does everything look weird? Mm. Uh oh. Well, I did something wrong. Um, I don't know if I can salvage this. Guess we're trying again. <laughs> that is, that has not happened. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Was the thing just said? <laughs> Ooh. It was okay, inevitable. That, that makes our, our bat producer happy, I guess. Because I know they, they have a button to push. Mm. Fortunately, you get to see all this again. <laughs> oh, see, now the person that, that walked away for two minutes, now you get to understand what happened. Exactly. This this was intended. This is an educate. <laughs> this is edumatainment.
This might seem like it takes a while, but there was a different version of this strat where you have to throw like a thousand or something. Oh my so, god. Oh, this is this is a lot better. <laughs> I, I don't even think we had a number. I think it was just like do it for 10 minutes and then pray. It's like actually, yeah, how how do people find out things like this? Because this is oh, go for 60. it. 66, 67, 68. That is a good question. I mean, we, we sort of knew how the like load area worked. Mm -hmm. So kind of just extrapolating stuff from there based on various testing. Gotcha. Um, pretty much always just comes down to trying stuff and seeing what happens. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a speed run mood right there in general. Yeah. Again. There we go. That looks right. Now, what was the difference the, the first time that you noticed it was like um, something was weird going the, on? So the bridge here is like all solid, but mm. before it wasn't. Oh, gotcha. All right. So now we got to make our way to the door here. Okay. And just climb up here. All right. So that's actually just part one of the skip. <laughs> Oh my god. That was just the setup so we can actually skip the thing where you need the shot gloves. Wow. So now we're gonna make our way over here. Do you were another glue grenade climb. You weren't kidding when you said you guys had to get creative. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna make the obligatory comment. There's stairs right there. Batman doesn't need <laughs> stairs though. He has glue. some invisible geometry here um, and then do one more and then we'll be back inside <laughs> so the comment is probably more buggy than Pokemon red blue again this is just just Batman things you just kind of accept it So now we actually need the shot gloves again immediately, but we've got another solution for that. Whoops. This might take a couple tries. Um, so, whoops. So this is butterfly gliding. <laughs> um, it's not hard to see why we called it that, I imagine. <laughs> and uh, I have no idea why this is a thing, <laughs> just at all. I have so many questions <laughs> that I don't want to ask. I'm guessing it's like some weird rotation bug, but like, <laughs> yeah, I honestly have no idea. Um, that ladder down there isn't real, so we have to go past it this way. Um, oh. Yeah, and that's butterfly gliding. We'll see more again later. That is glorious. There's some firefly dudes, they've got a bomb. We do have to destroy this bomb, but we're gonna ignore the rest of them. Oh, I guess we do another ledge takedown. It's just a double ledge oh. takedown. Ooh. Oops, come on. Takes care of those guys. Bravo two, this is command. <laughs> Report. Your explosion with an oil truck on the bridge surface. Massive damage. 
Here's the bomb. We're going to disarm it with one of the worst minigames ever. I mean, the minigame itself is fine, but it's just that it's light blue on light blue. Oh, gosh. Ah! Yeah, I, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> I don't think they. I, I think this is that minimal effort level, yeah, along maybe. with everything else. <laughs> they did. They did turn around this game in a pretty short amount of time, all things considered. And it mm. was like a relatively inexperienced studio told to just build a game on top of Arkham City. So, all things considered, I get why it turned out the way it did. But yeah. Huh? I mean, it's still like it looks absolutely gorgeous, though, for being an, an experienced yeah. team. I have to unload an area using a door cancel, if I can ever do it. There we go. So I've interrupted the animation opening the door. Now I can be out of bounds. Here, do another butterfly glide. So this is allowing us to skip going back and disarming another bomb. Instead, we can kind of just go over the bridge here. <laughs> That bomb is somebody else's problem. We have more important things to do. It's like this again, this is early Batman. Batman doesn't care about things like bombs or important things yet. Yeah. We're still in the learning phases. Very convenient that this bridge is all just like fully loaded in like this and we can just <laughs> run over it. <laughs> and that this door is here. This door really has no reason to be here right now, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> It wanted to feel important. Or trying something. to go through this door, it just blocks you, which is works out for me because this is where I need to go next. I was, say, I was half expecting you to go through those pipes or whatever oh that was. Oh no! Sometimes he just decides to glide there, even though it makes no sense. Very <laughs> cool. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Firefly is really messing up the bridge, so I guess we should probably take that a little more seriously. So we're going to beat up the rest of his goons and then fight him. Oops. Um. Oh, no. Um, this might be a problem. Game does this cool thing sometimes where it just doesn't let you fight here, and then I think if I reload... Oh, okay, cool. There was a there was a very real chance that my save file would be corrupted there. <laughs> oh wow! I'm just gonna reload again because I think that causes the issue when you just like jump off randomly. There we go. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, backup saves because this runs a little scary in that regard. Understandably so. There we go. Um, glue grenades let you kind of just go through shields and stuff with your batarangs, which is very handy. Oh, nice. So we use those a lot in combat as well as everything else. Okay, I do that fight taken care of. I do appreciate the, the random mob of bats that are always flying around Batman right now. Yeah. <laughs> like I've noticed that early on, I'm like, I don't yeah. remember <laughs> being a feature. They show up every time you uh, knock somebody out or end a fight or something. <laughs> so there's a lot of them. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> All right, so here's Firefly. Um, he likes fire and he flies. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, so the way you fight him is you just throw batarangs at him. And you just throw batarangs at him. You don't even have to, like, get out of the way of his attacks. You just keep throwing batarangs. Oh, jeez. Don't be intimidated. Eventually he'll stop. Um, then we're going to keep throwing batarangs at him. And then when he's about to be unstunned, we're going to backclaw him. character that Brendan, or not, yeah, Brendan Fraser was going to play 
Yeah, he was going to play Firefly in the Batgirl movie that got canceled. Oh, gotcha. It's like, I know that sounds familiar outside of this wonderfully crafted feature filled game. <laughs> so many features. Right? Also, a comment I appreciate in chat. Batman would be scarier if he butterfly glided in the movies. Just saying. That's, that is a sure. fair statement. You're, like, convinced that it's just a guy in a suit and he starts doing that. Like, what <laughs> are you, like, like I, what? Like, I, I'm out, I'm out. Here, take my yeah. stuff. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll arrest myself at this point. Thank you. <laughs> Stay away from me. Game's going to quickly remind us that sliding is a thing. Near the end of the game. <laughs> Now we fight for our play again. It's the same deal, just chuck a bunch of batarangs at him, but this time you do actually be careful because his attacks will like knock you over and that's slow. Stunned again, keep throwing him. Should be good. It's like this has become a bat fishing game. I love this. <laughs> All right, the fight's pretty much over. We just have to like run around for a bit while he tries to attack us. In the meantime, appreciate <laughs> these ridiculously oversized cars. Oh god, yeah. That is Proportionally confusing. I should grapple on the firefly. I think they were made to accommodate Firefly's wings if uh, he just happened to be in the area and happened to, to steal that car. Yeah. Um, so this is actually a quick time event. You wouldn't know it if you uh, hadn't played the game not New Game Plus first, because New Game Plus gets rid of your counter icons, and if you, like, forget to mash the counter button, you just die, which is really cool. Jeez. And also, this game has a permadeath mode, which also doesn't have counter icons, and if you fail the quick time event, that is that is a fail. You die, and you have to start the whole game over again. Learn that oh. the hard way once. Oh my god. <laughs> Do the, the buttons change? Because that no, would be wild. Thankfully, they're both just counter, so you can just mash the counter button through the entire cutscene. Okay. But if you like forget or you're not paying attention, then it's very easy to miss. Oh god. Um, here's Bane. Uh, he's in the Batcave. Um, it sounds like he really hurt Alfred. So uh, we might want to go check that out. Yeah. Everything's on fire. It's not looking good. No. It adds, right, it adds a nice atmosphere. Before we find Alfred, we gotta make sure the computer's okay. Because that's <laughs> more important. <laughs> okay, thank god. The computer's fine. So Yay! GG! Alfred's probably around here somewhere. Maybe like down here or something. Oh, there he is. Oh. all this stuff out of the way. Alfred. Alfred. All right, so unfortunately, Alfred is dead. Um, the good news is we have these on, these shock gloves. I don't know where we got them from, but maybe this maybe this will help. <laughs> there we go. He's fine. As, as someone that actually is trained in first response, uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god. Um, we have another long, unskippable cutscene here, so do we have any Batman facts? Yeah, how about, how about this interesting bat fact? Did you know the original color of the bat suit was not black? Yes. It, it was red. And oh boy, it doesn't look good. <laughs> 
Let's see, uh, throughout the years, uh, the tights have varied between ash gray and near black white, while the bat symbol has spent time over a yellow circle on his chest. You'd be interested to know, however, that Bob Kane's original design saw Batman wearing a red leotard and blonde hair. So I wonder where they got the idea for Robin after that. I can't stop them. Uh, let's see here. Do you know which Batman movie was considered the worst? I have a pretty good guess. Take, take a guess. Let's hear it. Batman and Robin, 1990s. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It has, it has the lowest rating at IMDb of just 3.7. It's also ranked as one of the worst DC movies of all time, and DC has had some not bops. Put it that way. As, as someone <laughs> who has gone out of their way to watch every DC movie, it's not even close to the worst. The bar is so low. Right? They need us. If you're looking for a worst movie, um, I would say either Steel or Catwoman. Oh, God. I, okay. I appreciate Halle Berry so much, the fact that she went to the Razzies to accept her award for Catwoman. Yeah. Like, and just, it, it was hilarious. She's like, I'd like to thank... I'd like to thank the writers of this movie, all, like, 27 of them. Like, wow. <laughs> That's a thing. All right, so we have returned to Blackgate to uh, do something, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, got a fight here. This fight can either go really well or be the worst. Um, looks like it's going to be the worst. That sounds about right. Oh, that was okay. Hey! Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock his place not speak of the Catwoman the movie. Joker what, you don't like Sharon Stone as a villain? Sir, we're on it. <laughs> Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA? So, Blackgate is another area where we need the shot gloves for a few things. Um, <laughs> but we have more workarounds for that. Oops. Um, here's some more butterfly gliding. Nice. I will say I like that his that Batman's cape is getting progressively more torn up. Oh yeah, that was like one of the signature things of this series, particularly Arkham mm -hmm. Asylum when it came out. Was the like the suit getting damaged over the course of the game? Careful. Um, so we got some electricity JPEGs on the water here, so we gotta be a little bit careful. <laughs> I, that that is that is henceforth its name. Electricity JPEX. You're not wrong though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna clear that. And I gotta do a little puzzle here. It's not really much of a puzzle. You just turn on the electricity and then do that. Fill up Look the that. water. That is hard for some people. Um, glue grenade gives you a raft on the water. Um, I. Don't ask me. I don't know what the physics behind that would be. Wow, that that vandalism. That's a. Mm. We're gonna blow up some steam pipes here. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Yeah, it's all part of the plan. Yeah. All right, now we have unironically the hardest part of the game. So uh, no pressure. <laughs> Um, first things first, I gotta cancel this door. Wait. There we go. Yeah, those guys are just gonna ignore us. It's cool. Do another butterfly glide, but this one's kind of tricky. Because you gotta land on top of a fence. If you're too high, it won't work. If you're too low, it won't work. There we go. Okay. Um, now I gotta figure out where exactly I am. Could be a little tricky. Run over here, do another butterfly glide. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. They're very useful for figuring out what's going on. I, um, I love this right now, actually. Gosh. Okay. And, uh, dang it. That was scary. Okay, now we're gonna do another glue grenade climb. 
whoops, if I can remember how to do that. There we go. <laughs> Cancel the door, doors of the party. <laughs> 20. You only really need 28, but I like to throw a couple extra just for good measure. Now we're going to glide over to the store here. Someone just said basically the, the glue grenades are Batman's echolocation, and yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, so all of that was just to skip an elevator shaft, and somehow I got a first try. So we are Nicely in the end game now. A bunch of bad guys here. We're going to throw them around. Uh, it's hard to know exactly how they're going to behave. Because I canceled the door in here, they don't actually know where I am, and they can't see me. Which can sometimes work out really well, but sometimes it's just annoying because they just like stand around and don't do anything. This is the actual, this is the follow up to the stealth tutorial at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Cancelled door stealth. Not the worst that room's ever gone. Maybe those hostages know where the Joker's hiding. Um, this is Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Um, Are you the game okay? seems to think she's important. I don't really get it. Uh, yeah, I think she was one of those like characters that got written out of the, the almost series killed. almost immediately. Uh, mm. Yeah, definitely. Hazard. Yeah. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon. Not entirely sure why there's like green neon paint everywhere, but we're just gonna go with it for now. Try to spice up the look, I guess. Yeah. Like, this is a this is a Mark Hamill appearance of Joker, isn't it? No, it is not actually. It's not. Oh, <gasps> it's Troy oh, Baker. Wow. Oh, is this after Hamill retired from it? Um. So because this game's a prequel, they use different voices for Batman and Joker. Oh, that's interesting. The yeah. The other Arkham games are are all Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, though. No kidding. This is a very big fight. It's another one that can kind of be super hit or miss, depending on how the um, how the glue grenades behave, how the batarangs behave, how the uh, ninja guys behave, because they're always the worst. Got one of them. Oh, cool. And then we just punched that guy a million times. That went very well. Nice. And we got one more little fight before we're in the uh, final boss. Oh, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, wait, is that still is it still Black Mask or is it Joker now? Um, I guess it's Joker. Uh, Joker's in this game, by the way. I forgot to mention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just never really came up before now. <laughs> it's like there's characters um, every couple so every. Once in a while, for a few seconds, it's fine. Not the best, but not the worst either. All right, we got one more big unskippable cutscene here, so we can have one more Batman fact, I think. Ooh, all right. All right. We are going to say that... Uh, oh, I just saw it too. Batman, now, in the whole Green Lantern saga, I think Batman at one point was a Black Lantern. 
However, uh, the Sinestro Corps, aka the Yellow Lanterns, attempted to recruit Batman. So Batman was almost a Yellow Lantern. Um, Yellow Rings choose their owner, the strongest provider of the emotion that they are linked to. Batman is such a terror to the underworld of Gotham that he was picked by a ring as one of the most capable of instilling fear. However, he refused as Bat's desire to impart justice is stronger than his desire to instill fear. I kind of want to see a Yellow Lantern Batman now. I feel like we got massively cheated on that, but... In, uh, in Arkham City, there's actually a Yellow Lantern skin. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. I believe that. So either you Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> no. There's another good him, one. Oh, the... Uh, you will find me with all your can you guess, in, uh, in 2015, so Forbes set out to answer the question of who fiction's riches are, and they determined Bruce Wayne's net worth. Take a guess. Just random guess. 500 billion. Okay, not that much. <laughs> oh. 200? Significantly less. 100? 50? You keep, you keep dropping a little bit there. Oh dear. <laughs> no, it's 9.2 billion. Mm. Uh, and putting him in sixth place. Interesting. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right, so this is Bane. Uh, we're going to fight him three times, actually. Um, so the whole setup here is like Joker wants us to either kill Bane, and if we don't kill Bane, then Joker dies, or we die. So like the whole idea is like somebody has to die. Um, we're we're anti-killing people, of course, so we're kind of just playing along here until we figure out what we're supposed to do about this without killing anybody. Oh. All right. Trying to do a combo takedown on Bane. There we go. That'll end this phase. Ow. Ooh. To quote CinemaSins, Batman survives this. <laughs> it's okay, we're fine. <laughs> um, so... You know, it's been kind of a long day, so I think we're actually just going to kill Bane. Oh, fair. Well, that was easy. It's going really well. Oh, gosh, it's really easy to lose your combo here. All right. Uh, Bane's dead. It was actually a little too easy, so we're going to kickstart his heart so we can kill him again. Oh, fantastic. That's thoughtful. <laughs> now, you said something about losing your combo. Does that make any difference in the, the run, or is it just... you When you lose your combo, it's harder to build up a new uh, combo takedown. Gotcha. All right, so... Uh, Bane's alive again, but unfortunately he's a big monster, so it's a little harder to fight him. Uh, this fight is super, super, super janky, so like if anything goes wrong, I'm just gonna have to reload and start it again. But hopefully everything will go according to the plan that we set out. Got him on the wall here. Need to get him on three walls. Okay, so when he turns the corner here, I'm gonna try to do a glue grenade. Cool. Then drop smoke, because that confuses him. And then sit in the corner here. Or not. Yikes. All right. <laughs> Sometimes Batman just doesn't stay in the corner. Oh. Uh, okay. That's fine. Alfred, what do we know about the N1? The compound I found in Bane's lab. I'll start looking into it now, sir. Yeah, like anything goes wrong here, it's like he his whole pattern just becomes completely RNG and there's like oh, wow. very little you can do to do it fast, so almost always best to start over. No, that makes sense. Stay in the corner this time, please. <laughs> Why did it not let me do the corner takedown? I was mashing the button the whole time. <laughs> Game, please. <laughs> I'm on GDQ. <laughs> More just Batman things. Fortunately, I have a very generous estimate. 
guys. There, there's the, the comments I was waiting for in chat. Nobody puts Batman in the corner. <laughs> Nobody puts my corner to Batman fight. <laughs> Joker's got Hey! Hopefully this works. There we go. Batman did the thing. I'm so proud of him. One more. Chuck a glue grenade at him right away. Another janky corner moment. Hit that. Oh, come on. There we go. Hit that. He gets confused again. There we go. Nice. <laughs> that takes care of Bane. It's definitely done. Will not be a problem again, for sure. Now, is he completely dead or is he mostly dead? Uh, I guess mostly. That's fair. Oh no. Rip. <laughs> There's some nasty hits. Ooh. Bane's gone like full zombie now, so we're just gonna have to kill him once and for all. This should do the trick. <laughs> mm, the, that JPEG lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Never gets old. Alright, now we're actually done with Bane for real this time. <laughs> and all that's left is to go deal with the Joker. Make our way down here. There's that warden guy from the beginning. Friend? Yeah, he's cool now. Alright, and now we're setting up the boss rush where we fight all the bosses again. Here's Killer Croc, the first boss. And, uh... <laughs> Oh. Oh, he just he, he just ran away. Okay, oh, never mind. Well. <laughs> Help me keep these guys off the ward. Well then. Do this little fight instead. <laughs> you know, he just wanted to let us know that he actually was in fact in the game. Yeah. We that hadn't seen him in the Risen Revisit, so they needed to make sure we knew that he was still here. Ah. But that makes perfect yes. sense. Perfect sense. Here's Joker. Now Joker kind of wants us to try to kill him or something, but we're kind of over that. We uh, we had our fill with Bane, so we're just gonna beat him up a little bit instead. He's like ranting about something. I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, I'm I'm both good. Amuse people and and that and people by saying, "Wow, those little shards of glass!" I uh, definitely gave vibes of like Shaco or Shaco from League of Legends, the jester with the two daggers. All right, time is going to end on the end of this beatdown. Ooh, and time. GG. Those are some interesting graphics for the beat down. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. We've got more yeah. Batman games coming up right after this. Heck yeah. And yeah, tell everybody where they can find you because I know you run a lot of the Batman games. Like, just like all of them. Yeah, I run all, of the I run all four of the Arkham games and I occasionally try the other games but they're usually a little too frustrating for me <laughs> but they're very interesting um i am on twitch.tv slash chicken nuggets um, i'm also on speedrun.com and youtube same username deserves better than that yeah 
but yeah, thank you so much again. Everybody give GG's for chicken nuggets. That was a fantastically awesome run of Arkham Origins. That was so, so, that was awesome. Just, just, just fun Batman things. Uh, before we go to break, I do want to remind everybody that uh, remember that your subs, your Prime Gaming subs, your gift subs, and your bits that are cheered on the GDQ. Yeah, words are hard today. It's fun day. And bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support games done quick hotfix. Uh, if you enjoy watching speedruns daily, which I kind of do, I don't know about you, but I do, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. But we'll be right back with surprising no one more batman things with batman vengeance so stay tuned and i can't change them any more than i hello friends and welcome back to more batman tastic or bat tastic express lane uh before we get into our next run i just want to remind you to really quick things. So one, if you missed out on any of our hotfix shows, uh, be sure to check out the VODs over on youtube.com slash games done quick. And conversely, if you're watching on YouTube, first off, hello. Uh, second of all, be sure to press that like button on this video and subscribe to the channel because we love those people that subscribe and hit like on the videos. Also, head back to twitch.tv slash games done quick to watch our shows live. So with that, we have gone from the dark, darkest of Arkham, Arkham Origins to now Angie Batman with some Batman <laughs> vengeance with MTG Joe D. So hello, Joe. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? <laughs> I am enjoying this Batastic episode. <laughs> oh, man, me too. Uh, Chicken's run was awesome. I love watching that. Uh, that was very cool. It was, it, was, it was fun watching you in chat going, I wish... GameCube Batman could do this. Yeah, no, I was like, oh man, I don't get to roll like that. <laughs> that being said, Vengeance is a pretty, pretty solid game. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I guess it would have to be if I've been running it for this long. Uh, it's based off the Batman the Animated Series and the continuation of the new adventures of Batman and Robin. It's got the whole voice cast, so we'll hear Kevin Conroy, rest in peace, Mark Hamill, Arlene Sarkin, the, the whole deal. Um, and it's oh, very wow. cool and has a lot of really cool cutscenes that are animated like the show um, that we are going to be skipping all of. So. Rip. My webcam just froze. Uh -oh. I don't know. Give me just a sec. Going for the. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will say while we're working out some tech issues, can we appreciate the fact that Batman on the start menu is trying to imitate Joe? IRL. Like they both have that that side look into the darkness and the abyss. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Never had this happen. <laughs> Let's see, what can we get rid of here? Wait, a never happened before outside of a uh -oh. speedrun? I don't know what to do right now. I'm so confused. <laughs> but we can also let's see too. Oh please tell me I still have that Oh, I don't think I do. We might, we might try Ooh. to get some, uh, some bat facts. Hopefully, Batman facts. Since I have blown everybody's minds about previous ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that worked. Maybe I see myself again. All right. While they're sorting it out. All right. Yes. Ooh, in that case, I just made it quickly. There is a town in Turkey called Batman. There, that's the bat fact. Road trip? Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could do some Oregon Trail levels of road trip over <laughs> the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. Yep. <laughs> yep, it looks all good on my side. All right, perfect. Uh, it looks like chat agrees it's all fixed so you are good to go sweet sorry about that chat uh so since we are going to be skipping all of the awesome uh cutscenes and everything uh, i'm going to do my best to fill in for the plot which is pretty linear i bet we'll all be able to guess it uh let's see just kind of time starts after i adjust the brightness here i think that looks pretty good so we're gonna go three two one yeah it's bat time Woo! 
<laughs> uh, the first level opens up, it's kind of the tutorial level, and you just, no cool rolling movement for us, we just get to hop a lot. Uh, and it is impossible to die on this level, which is kind of nice. We've tried several different ways to, like, you should take damage from that fog. That won't kill you. None of that toxic waste down there that we're ignoring will kill you. It's, uh, kid gloves, I guess. But we're here because we heard screams in the night. Ooh. Which, of course, means there is a woman tied up next to a bunch of explosives. Like every night in Gotham, I'm sure. I like how you just load in and then suddenly girl in arms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we get one of the coolest credit sequences I've ever seen in video games, where you slide away from a big explosion like a cool guy. Batman doesn't watch explosions. No. I would, uh, it would hurt his bat goggles, I'm sure. And then, skip cutscene, we pick up a threatening letter from the Joker that has a cool rhyme. He's basically inferring that he's kidnapped this woman's son and is going to hold him for ransom. So we go back to the Batcave, where Batgirl is waiting for us, and we have her do all the real detective work while we go work out in the gym and have Alfred teach us how to play the game. It's a common theme in Vengeance that uh, Batgirl's doing all the actual investigative work. That sounds about right. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. Yeah. You got to carry your weight, man. But uh, we're skipping all of Alfred's very well-voiced lines, uh, picking up some tools. As, you know, as, as much as we love that voice actor, we want to go fast. Right. Well, it's like you're thinking about it. Batman doesn't have time to do the investigative work at this point. Uh, he needs to spend all of his time brooding and being Batman. Right. It's a very intensive schedule, being so broody. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Although, I guess, you know, Batman the Animated Series, well, yeah, he's pretty broody there, but less broody than some other iterations. Yeah, true. This is way less scary than the Arkham games. We just have to worry about spinning lasers with the world's largest hitbox. <laughs> that should we, uh... Yeah. Do some rudimentary stealth mechanics here. I like to think that uh, Vengeance walked so Arkham could run. <laughs> I love that stealth walk so much. It's, it's super good. This is also fun. We do a lot of flinging ourselves off of ledges to catch uh, flower sack children. It's kind of what? a... We got to practice. Batman has practice for catching falling children, which might come in handy later. Oh, man. So we, uh, Barbara gets us some cool tips and sends us to go investigate some rooftops here. And this is probably one of the best looks at Gotham uh, that we get to see in this game. And it, it's pretty neat. You can see they, they really based everything like off of the animated series show. They did. Uh, they worked really close with a lot of the animators from there. It definitely has a very, like, unique at its time aesthetic yeah like, it you, was, you look at that it's like oh this is batman 100%. yeah it was so cool um i found it at a used at a hollywood video when i was a kid and i was like that's the show that i watch all the time <laughs> and then it was the hardest game i'd ever played and i never got past the first level uh nice. until many years later <laughs> did you did you seek vengeance oh yeah <laughs> Just uh, waiting for our wonderful yeah. producer, Railcoon, <laughs> to just ban me from this this episode. We're, we do some, uh, there should be a maze there, but we just do what we call the Rusty Hop, named after someone in our community who we just kept trying to glide around. And he was like, you guys, you could just do a little bunny hop. And it's been affectionately called the Rusty Hop ever since. Shout out, <laughs> shout out Rusty. I think I saw him in the chat earlier. Uh, the Rusty Doorknob? Yeah. Yep. And then uh, we do some sliding on these boots. I feel really bad for Alfred having to repair these all the time. Hey, it pays the bills. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ah. <laughs> we have to beat this guy up, and we really try to not throw him to the ground, because that takes more time than we want. But 
That Earth. is a fashion statement. Right yeah. There. <laughs> Looks warm, right? A little bit. Uh, we talked to Mary. She's like, oh, no, my son, he's kidnapped. She gives us a little pocket knife with his name on it. His name's Toby. <laughs> And we go back to the Batcave, and Batgirl's like, neither of these people exist. They're ghosts, Batman. I can't find them anywhere. So so something is afoot. Mm. And we do a lot of not fighting in this run. And hopefully... No. Bullets still hurt, unfortunately. Sometimes that guy gets distracted by... His friend blowing him up, but not today. <laughs> it is really funny the all the different like goons and hench people in this can just beat each other up. So we we'll see that incidentally throughout. <laughs> and they all have really funny voice lines. Uh, they'll just like whisper to themselves like, "Oh, what was that? Somebody's here." Even if you're not close to them, it's pretty funny. Nice. I was like, I'm just going to run right there and just let Batman push me around. <laughs> We're coming up on our first Joker sighting, which Ooh. would be like a normally a long boss fight. But if we can aim really good, we can skip most of it. So cross your bat fingers. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Nice. That feels good. We skip like a really long sequence with the uh, wrecking ball, and then we have to catch what we believe is a real boy. Could be. Looks just like the sack of flour from earlier. I'm not sure what that's about. And then it, it blows up. Surprise, surprise. It was a bomb. Mary, <laughs> Mary was Harley Quinn all along. <gasps> Never would have guessed. Right? Now we, uh, oh, goodness. We have to fight the Joker here, and there's a grab move that he does sometimes that could reset everything, but we're ideally going to dodge that. And check our bat communicator for some reason. There we go. This is the hardest Whoa. part. No hands. We have to do it psychically. It's just a cutscene. I was like, what? What, <laughs> what is going on? You don't remember psychically having to control your GameCube games? <laughs> I don't know it's real anymore. I'm still in the fever dream from Origins. This is still Origins. This is just uh, this is just a really long Origins cutscene. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn is so distraught because we accidentally let Joker fall to his death. So she tries to throw herself to her death, and we catch her, and we're like, hey, you know, he wasn't great. And she vows to give up the villain life. Mm. And, and we get a call that Mr. Freeze is up to some shenanigans. Ooh. We get an awesome title cards, like, straight out of the show. I, I'm a fan of these title cards, to be honest. They're so cool. I really wish there were, like, high-def rips of them for backgrounds and stuff, but... Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, some of these ice levels, it's, it's a little while ahead. Um, I'm going to give a warning now. There is an ice level um, that will need a photosensitivity warning. Um, I'll try to provide ample notice. Okay. I, I see some uh, some regulars in the chat, and then hopefully they'll remember to type it in the chat, too. But it's just one little, one little sequence later. But I saw the ice, and I remembered. Because we leave a lot of frozen guards just crying in the ice. Unfortunately, when we're doing the speed run. And we ignore all of the uh, freeze hench people with their ice guns. Unfortunately, she's still up here. It's kind of nice when uh, they shoot each other off the platforms. Sometimes they can shoot you off the ladder. But we did okay here. More awesome title card. Yeah. We're going to try to race a, a moving platform up here. If you're quick, you can get on it. Oh, just barely. Okay. Oof. Nice. We have to pop over here and pick up some nets. 
uh, in the any percent run where you're playing through the whole game, you don't already have your keys. There's more to do over there, but we just pop over for some nets in New Game Plus. Uh, the benefit of New Game Plus is it has all of the keys for you already, and we skip the lengthy cutscenes. So now we're going to see Mr. Freeze. He has a scientist that he's holding hostage for some unknown reason. And we have to hopefully trap all of these hench people in nets. Oh, thank goodness. They are the toughest hench people, I think, in the game, and they, they've got dodging skills like nobody's business. Oh. So we get frozen, and now we have to do a little wiggle dance. Where the you bat just wiggle. yeah, you got wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh my god, yeah. he's a bat wiggle. <laughs> he does he does the full jumping jack. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Probably hard on the GameCube controller, but and now we're on to one of the most frustrating vehicle auto scrollers I've ever played, where we have to chase the freeze copter. Uh, originally. Uh, in New Game Plus, there were still some cutscenes that we couldn't skip, and uh, one of our one of the other runners, um, Ratten, he thought because he managed to skip them all, and he thought it was because of an intentional death in this level. We later found out that wasn't the case, but uh, sometimes you'll still see if you're going back and looking at vods and stuff. We'll take a intentional death right at the beginning because we thought that did some sort of bat magic that. It was fake. But like a lot of magic in the Batman universe, I guess. Would you would you say finding out that those that bat magic was fake, uh, you put that thought on ice? <laughs> you can say that. Look, chat's asking for ice puns. So oh, bring them on. There. Yeah. Even better if you do them in a Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Right. God, I think my voice would would not exist. Oh. Yeah, you're you're healing up, right, from being sick. Is that what I heard? Yeah, it's. Uh, I went pretty much a solid two weeks with pretty much no voice. Oh, so no. Chat, you're both welcome, oh, and I'm shoot. sorry. <laughs> uh oh. So, the yeah, sometimes it's express lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will delay us just a little bit. Sometimes the oh goodness. This is one of my curse levels for sure. Uh. Planes were not meant to drive on the express lane. For the record, this was not designed for the bat plane to go through. Um, it's not the worst thing that can happen. It's not like a run killer by any means. If anyone is interested in trying to run this, you're trying to like delete the shield that you can see in the lower right that's full white right now, and you want it to turn red and then go away. But we get plenty of time to do that later. Nice. And how, how terrifying would it be to be one of the people on that commute? Like, oh, I'm trying to get home from work and you gotta, you gotta call home and be like, someone feed the dogs, man. Batman's at it again. Well, <laughs> that, that brings up a good point. It's like, if you live in Gotham City, you'd probably be used to Batman shenan- or Batmanigans? Batmanigans. <laughs> I imagine your insurance premiums would be through oh, the man. roof. Excellent. Pretty much everyone's self-insured at that point. Right? So we got rid of the shield, and now we do this. The helicopter blows up. We see a couple people jump out. And if everything went well, we'll be able to skip a really long cutscene here. So keep your bat fingers <laughs> crossed, friends. Ooh. Yes. Okay. It works. Nice. The setup for the cutscene skip is you have to have played through all of them in the same session and just leave your console on before you do the speed run. Oh, my gosh. So that part's not fast. Uh, so. That is kind of a fun scene to watch. It's with the scientist Isaac Evers, who is also vo voiced by Mark Hamill. He does Ooh. double duty. Now I we're going to do... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, someone in chat wanted to know where they could get that Star Fox mod. <laughs> uh, we're going to do some of the coolest computer hacking you've ever seen. This is definitely what computers look like inside. Hack the planet. I think I think when I was a kid they looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
honestly, it would probably be a lot easier to do computer programming if it was all just a bunch of really right? fun colored tubes. Lucky for us, it's the same solution every time. If that was RNG, that'd be such a headache. Oh, absolutely. And I, uh, I tend to get really anxious when doing this part, and I'll hit the A button too many times, and it just, it will rotate. And it's the one time when your A button really, the input works every time. Very frustrating. <laughs> uh, so we are about to come up on an area that I think would need a photosensitivity warning. Okay. I'm going to give this cutscene just a couple of seconds before we go in case anyone needs to look away. It should only be like a minute. There we go. I don't know why they did this, but the lab has flashing lights, and we're going to come up on the first uh, invincibility skip here. I mean, invincibility glitch, maybe? First try. Nice. So what that does is nice. um, if you are hitting your cape, like, shield at the exact moment, you're taking co uh, constant damage from, you know, say, the, the steam there or a flamethrower or something like that, and you hit your cape at the exact frame you would empty your health bar, uh, you are now invincible and don't get put into combat states, anything like that. It's very awesome. We have to get that health pack there, though, or it'll softlock when we fight Mr. Freeze. What? No one knows why. We haven't been able to figure that out yet. That is an odd softlock. <laughs> uh, all the flashing lights should be gone now. Now we just have the weird ice effects. And we can just punch through ice. That looks so painful. We're very rude. We ignore everyone here. Who's out there? Like she was ho so happy to try to stop Batman. Batman's like, nah. Yeah, bye. Hey. Through the door. Normally, a lot of them would have keys, but we have it already. Mm -hmm. So now, the Mr. Freeze boss fight, which I just learned some new pathing from, uh, from our friend Agari. Let's see if I can pull it off. This is one of this is the level that really ruined me as a kid. He, uh, you have to like go around. You can't punch him. You have to drop these mysterious vats on top of him. And oh. and when you're invincible like this, he can just grab you and throw you across the map for no reason. All right, not bad. Do we get it? Yeah, cool. The new pathing is way quicker. So he panics, his, his mask cracks, and he throws his freeze gun to Batman, who freezes him and saves his life, because we're cool like that. Nice. And thankfully, we get to skip through a whole lot of other cutscenes. We see a really cool one with Poison Ivy. She gets delivered a mysterious poison vial-looking thing, and she mutates a plant with it, and then all of a sudden, Batgirl's been captured, and we have to go save her. And there's some really strange green monsters. I don't know who those could be from. And uh, there's a whole, like, complicated series of lever puzzles we could do in the carts. And it's just way faster if we take the long way. Because there's one lever at the end you can pull that solves the whole thing. That character model of that character you just went by... I, I, that was a choice. Yeah, they're <laughs> strange. We'll get to see them uh, much closer later. But they are, they are odd. And we're pretty sure Barbara's like screaming sound effect is in several games from this era. I forget, someone was telling me they'd heard it before. I don't know if they were able to pinpoint the game. But my, my personal theory is she's, screaming because she really wishes Bruce would just do his job for once <laughs> instead of brooding. Be like, I'm Batman brooding, that's my job. Yeah, that's like 90% of it, yeah. at least. Thankfully, we have plenty of electric batarangs. Well, let's just get to this last lever, which solves the whole light lock puzzle. Puzzle. Excellent. Everything's unlocked. We go to help uh, Barbara here, who's totally holding her own. And there's a scary dude in a trench coat who jumps out. And then we jump out and hop in the Batmobile. And we get to deal with some very early 2000s quick time events. 
Oh god. Oh. And property damage. Lots of property damage. You got any more bat facts? <laughs> I do have some bat facts. I just have to pull them up. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Christian Bale Whoa. and his uh, his Batman. So one of the, the super iconic things about Christian Bale as Batman was the very deep throat, tearingly gritty voice. Uh, the problem is. Um, that voice tends to strain some vocal cords to <laughs> fans and various whatnot. So, did you know, though, that uh, the infamous growl uh, that Christian Bale, or that uh, in, in, in Dark Knight, was actually added in post production? Oh, I a, didn't know that. That is a fake growl. That's uh, funny. During, during filming. Uh, Christian Bale used a more reasonable growl that wasn't going to just destroy his uh, vocal cords. But yeah, the all this time, your your thoughts of a brooding growl have been a lie, much That's like so cake. funny. I, I tried sorry, to do that voice sorry. for a whole stream once, <laughs> and um... well, see now you know what. Just add a post production. <laughs> I need to get like a vocal modulator or something. Right. So we should be to the end of this. Quick time shenanigans, if that worked. Nope, cool. That last one, famously temperamental. So we'll have to do one more ring around <laughs> Gotham, cause some more property right. damage. Well, in that case, uh, let's talk about Batman's skills for a second here. Yeah. See here, he is the master. Like, Keanu Reeves, Reeves I know Kung Fu level of mastery. Over 127 forms of martial art, well versed in at least seven languages, including Japanese, German, and Russian, with degrees in multiple scientific and engineering fields. He is also the master of the power nap. Just one hour of sleep is as effective for him as eight hours are for us. I would kill for that That's skill. Right. <laughs> Think about how many more practice runs you could get in if you only had to nap an hour at a time. <laughs> That would be amazing. There we go. So now we're just going to shoot a bunch of smoke bombs all over the highway. Try to get it in this window there. He crashes. Because smoke bombs all over the highway will have that effect on people, I've been told. Yeah, yeah I can see it having an effect. <laughs> and uh, we go to investigate the crash and we find a mysterious apple with a gross thing in it. So... And a cool little thing happening there that we skip right through is the radio is talking about the, the accident and everything that's happened up until this point in the game. Just a fun little touch. Interesting. So now we are in Poison Ivy's domain, and there are a lot of those nasty plant mutant things running around. And we try to avoid them because you can't just punch them. Uh, only electricity works. And it, it is really a pain. There's also root tentacle things just everywhere. A little concerning. Yeah. Uh, those are also a, a huge pain to get out of if you get caught. It's doable, but you gotta you gotta do the same bat wiggle, except tied up by weird plant roots. More panicked bat wiggle. Yeah. Uh, this next area is really neat. She's grown a bunch of like super weird glowy mushrooms that are really slippery so we have to be careful with our platforming here or they will dump us right off I think these are some of the coolest design levels a lot of a lot of color especially in Batman games color tends to be um, yeah few and far in between sometimes yeah the animated series I think and the games based off it were good with that of trying to balance it mm. out more sliding on our boots because alfred doesn't have enough to do around the the manor i'm sure i'm convinced this batman has heelys yeah <laughs> bat heelys right. dude dc could make a killing they need to they need to bring oh, that absolutely up. we avoid all of that uh the a door we just passed there if it opened would skip like half of this level and we have not been able to figure out it must have just been like a developer shortcut or something 
because there is no conceivable way to get the door open, and it's very sad. Mm. I can, I've tracked down some of the developers that worked on this game and had Twitter conversations, and unfortunately, none of them remember ever working on it. Oh my! They're God. like, I mean, I remember that that's the thing we did, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. It's cool you speed run oh, it. No. So they've all been really cool, really nice people to talk to. Nice. Um, we had a really flawless hop around a bunch of scary acid, so that feels good. Getting dunked in that is painful. No confirmation on if that's the same stuff that Joker fell into. Mm. But now we get to see a really cool plant monster. What? Conceivably the, the most delayed hitboxes in the world, unfortunately. But conceivably, it's this thing or its relatives that have been trying to grab us the whole time. And Steam works quite well. I feel kind of bad, because, like, honestly, it's kind of cute. You can see, like, a plushie yeah. of this thing, right? So happy! And we're out of batterings again. There we go. So, unfortunately, we have to dunk our plant friend. Nature is a hydra. Her lines are so good. Agreed. And unfortunately, we're going to skip through most of them. She has some really cool, threatening cutscenes where she threatens the mayor. And, and then we blow everything up. I don't know how the mayor was supposed to survive that, but we, we blow the whole thing up. And now we're doing a, a big flashback sequence that thankfully we can skip now, thanks to uh, Agari figuring out all the new cutscene skips. But we basically, we go interview Harley Quinn again, and we're trying to figure things out, because like we're suspicious uh, that maybe Joker might not be all the way dead, or something else is going on. Uh, so now we're going to do our second invincibility glitch of the run, hopefully, where we just have to stand in a flamethrower for a little bit. <laughs> That that bat pose. Yeah, that that is a that's also a choice. <laughs> He's got some excellent poses. Maybe maybe maybe. <laughs> nice first try. Okay. Nice. Um, and that's really useful in this level because you just have to go through a a bunch of rooms, being shot at by like ten people at a time. I think they intended us to use this the stealth mechanics that kind of exist to uh, go like. Uh, you know, disable them with your batarangs and sneak up behind them, and we don't have time for that. We're speedrunners. Of course not. Ooh. Thought we were gonna miss that. That would have been tragic. <laughs> but yeah, it's just strange, strange hench people with Tommy guns everywhere. But we're pretending yeah. we're Superman, so no problem. You can move during those uh, the cutscenes where the you're turning off the sewer pipes, but uh, he the controls don't work the same, and Batman could end up anywhere, uh, including in the the sewer water dead. So we we try not to touch the controller there. Fair. It's like I can always start a uh, a small ride in chat by doing you know, chat. You have to agree with me in the the quintessential ever-present fight between who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman, the answer is obviously Deadpool. Disgust. <laughs> I, 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 there's no fault in that statement. <laughs> and now we... The, the swerve at the end. <laughs> and now we gotta fling ourselves into a thing that was designed for platforming. You can't have, like, an instant death if you don't hit your uh, glides at certain points, but... That's no problem. Uh, one cool thing that might come to this run soon is Agari uh, figured out you can skip everything by jumping off that one little jack-in-the-box that's right there before the tubes, but it is incredibly hard. I think it took them two hours to hit it once. So. Oh, wow. So we're is working it just on like it. a small hitbox? Or? Yeah, well, it's really hard to like balance on top of it and then jump over the death plane. Oh, I gotcha. Um, it's really cool, though, watching their clip of it. 
So we get to skip like a little cutscene there and really tragically lose our invincibility. Oh no. Oh, that. Oh yeah, I see what you mean with the... Oh shoot, yeah, it didn't work. So, like I was talking about with the, we got all our luck out of the way, uh, getting the world record back last night. We're just going to have to reset really quick. But that's okay. Oh, that's a cool yeah. card, too. So, hey, if you have any more bat facts, why don't we just run through this a little I, bit again? I found a fun one for you. Yeah, so, for those me. that watched uh, The Suicide Squad, the most recent one, you, you got to see Scarrow fight everything. Well, did you know? Uh, during the No Justice storyline in the comics, Starro joins the Justice League in the battle against the Omega Titans. Determined to redeem themselves after all their horrible past deeds, Starro sacrifices themselves in order to help the heroes win. In the aftermath, Batman comes across a surviving piece of the fallen ally and decides to keep them. What? This sentient his sentient miniature Starro is housed in the Hall of Justice in uncharacteristically lazy fashion. Bruce simply names them Jaro <laughs> after the fact that they used to live in a jar. It gets better. Jaro. I can't. Jaro becomes strongly attached to Bruce, coming to regard him as their father. They also become an important ally to the League and their battles against the Light, or in their battles against the likes of the Legion of Doom. Despite their background, Jaro is, <laughs> Jaro is shown to be quite affectionate and protective of others, at one point going as far as manipulating the League to stay away from the Legion so they don't get hurt. Oh, Jaro. <laughs> picture that it's showing is literally Jaro with like a little Robin costume on. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> I can just see Batman pulling out Jaro's like, this is Jaro, my son. <laughs> I'm going to have to go track that arc down. That is oh awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the No Justice storyline. I don't know when it was written, but yeah. Oh my goodness. We are having some awful invincibility glitch luck here. It's the curse. So how, so how does that the, the glitch work? Like, how do you what do you have to do to? Uh, as far as we can determine, um, based on the task that was just made, is you have to hit your cape at the exact frame your health would run out. And uh, it's a little bit easier on the PAL version, which we're running. Um, but sometimes I'm just not I'm not quick enough. You'd have to be Barry Allen to do it perfectly, I think. Fair. There we go. Hey, perfect. Birth try. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to learn about Jaro, so uh, I did that on purpose for the Jaro like, facts. Absolutely. If anybody absolutely. asks. I, I will, after this run, I will, actually, I'll, I'll link you the, the facts that I'm Thank reading Thank you so right much. Now, and it's number five. Okay, perfect. But yeah, I, chat, look up Jaro, J-A-R-R-O. You're welcome. You you will you will protect this little starfish. That's amazing. I love that DC has just been around long enough that even people who are like pretty obsessed with something in it like me will find plenty of new things to entertain them like that. <laughs> I think Jaro needs a game. Can we get like a Jaro mod for? I, I, I would play that game. Ironically, <laughs> I would speed run that game passionately. A Jaro skin for the Arkham games win. Oh my they're, they're still yes. putting out night skins, right? Like... The batarangs are just Jaros. <laughs> <laughs> like this, this is no longer the Batman episode. This is the Jaro episode of Express Lane. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Hashtag justice for Jaro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're back to basically where we we left off before our Jaro uh, intermission. Just, 
Oh, and we get the cool floating Batman T pose glitch. Nice. Which could be really useful if it would carry us across this chasm, but for some reason you hit the death plane and you can only get over it by hopping off of a jack in the box. <laughs> After attempting it for two hours. I think theoretically someone's gonna get it in a run eventually. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be me, but it'll be really cool when it happens in a run because that'll. Oh, we missed the door skip too. It's that, it's that GDQ action. There we go. It's JDQ Jaro done quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take this a little bit safer. There we go. Perfect. These poor, confused guys, they're just trying to, you know, do their job, take you out, and you, you ignore their bullets, you ignore them. There's a really funny cutscene we skip in the beginning where Joker's talking to some of his new henchmen, and uh, Harley Quinn's there, and they're complaining like, hey, I don't think we're getting paid enough. Two-Face offers a whole benefits package and a 401k. Ooh. <laughs> and then Harley hits them with a hammer. But I just really like the fact that there is a canon where Two Face, like, you know, gives better benefits than a lot of other villains in the mythos. Look, you got you got to pay your henchmen something. You got to right? make sure they've they've got dental, they've got vision, because they're gonna get beat up yeah. a lot. Those oh god, what would the premiums be on that? Oh. Oof. Like, it's doing like, yeah, premiums, do we... yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you work for them? Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> I mean, I guess he was district attorney, so he maybe he still has access to those those government benefits, huh? Yeah, that's fair. Worst comes to worst, he just goes to court and tries to get him convinced. Oh, it shit. was Penguin. I am oh. not Two-Face. <laughs> I, I see chat correcting me violently. You have, Thank you, chat. You have, you have made Jaro sad. <laughs> That's the problem, trying to talk and run, man. My mouth goes, but my brain doesn't always catch up. Sure. And we haven't run any percent in a really long time, where we have to watch the cutscene. Uh, so we just skip over. We are carrying out the scientist Isaac Evers, Jim Gordon, and the SWAT team are there waiting for us. And a, a batarang comes from off screen, definitely not from us, and knocks out Jim. And everyone is now like, oh my gosh, he tried to kill the commissioner. And Jim Gordon's just unconscious and can't defend us. So now the police are all trying to kill us. <laughs> Which is fun, because we are not invincible anymore. Oof. Theoretically, they're stun bullets. <laughs> I guess. Theoretically. <laughs> It depends on how much plot armor you have at this particular exactly. point in the game. A lot of more cool, like, Gotham Skyline art here um, in this one, as we zip around with our faithful bat grapple, doing our, our bat jumps, avoiding the not-bat police. I was trying to go with something there, I lost it. It's like, like McDonald's, Batman puts his name on everything. Yeah. One thing I wish we had in this game is some, like, bat shark repellent. Ooh. You know, like the good old Adam West days, but... Right? Just a lot of cool rooftops and a helicopter that's shooting electricity blasts at us. Which, that's so fair. far, we've stayed ahead of. We don't have time to disable electricity boxes like a normal person. We have to punch them. And there's our helicopter friend. Very hey. cool cinematic moment here. Ooh, more lightning.jpg. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, Bruce, go through the door. Thank you. I like to yell at Bruce when something goes wrong. Because then <laughs> it's not negative self-talk. It's me yelling at a billionaire. That makes sense. All right. And so most of this level is just like trying to avoid the helicopter because it's awful. And we do have to fight it at the end, of course. Uh, we'll take an intentional death 
in a little bit that resets its pathing, which is really nice because um, there's a whole... We have to climb a lot of ladders here in a bit. But we've avoided it so far, and now we have to ride on an elevator. There's no way around it. So if you have any other bat facts, the elevator ride's a great time. <coughs> All right, here I'll I'll pose this question to you. How does Batman like his steak cooked? I don't think he has time for a steak. It's, it's like protein shakes <laughs> all the time. But I think no, when he he's... when he's out, maybe <clears throat> I don't, I think he's a rare guy personally. It was documented in the Kingdom Come series uh, that Batman likes his steak. Well done. I quit. I quit running right? Batman forever. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. <laughs> well, maybe it's uh, like it's exercise for his teeth, right? His bat teeth. He's got to keep them strong. <laughs> with with bat chewing, it's bat chewing. Steak. Uh, bat so here's where we take our intentional death to reset the pathing. Uh, our friend Ratten figured this out. It really just does save a lot of time when we get to the end of this level. So shout out to Ratten for finding that, because it was one of the most frustrating points for me. <laughs> oh. Well, hey, that's never happened before. Hey. It's like on one side we've got that's never happened before. On the other side, the entirety of chat is just ro roasting Batman so much that he is <laughs> becoming the well done steak that he likes. <laughs> Oh, that is really unfortunate that that barrel blew up because another benefit of resetting or getting an intentional death there is our health bar refills. But we just won't get shot later. It's a good play. Yeah. But yeah, normally you can hear the, the helicopter catching up to us now, but if we hadn't taken the intentional death, it'll shoot us off of every ladder, which is really frustrating. Oh, gosh. I'm glad little kid me never made it to this level because I would have, <laughs> I would have thrown a fit. Oh, so in chat, he, he needed the bat chewing to sculpt his bat jaw. That oh. is a fair point. That is there a we fair go. Point. Yeah, how else I mean, is he gonna get that chiseled? Especially the animated series Batman. Yeah. That, that's like. And, and shout out to everybody that knows this name. That is a Robert Zadar level chin. <laughs> All right, so now we fight the helicopter, which is still shooting lightning.jpg at us. <laughs> which we really want to try to avoid now that we only have half a health bar. We, we're still trying to figure out what causes its pathing. It has several moves it can take, uh, which seem random right now, but I'm sure there's a pattern. We just haven't figured it out yet. Now that we shot off all of its lightning.jpg, they decide they just want to shoot real missiles at us. They've given up trying to take us in. And if we're lucky, last one. Okay. Nice. The helicopter has a mind of its own. That has been a pain point for a really long time. Ooh. Now Ooh. we get to change our Batman skin temporarily. We're going <gasps> in disguise to check out the Funny Bones Ooh. warehouse as Man in Suit with Scar, the very well known DC character. <laughs> we have to type in a code that normally you would have to go explore the whole level without getting tagged by the lights to figure out, but it never changes. So. Nice. It's useful for speed running. I never could figure that one out as a, like when I before I, I googled it. It's not very also, clear. It's, also, we've, we've started something. We have a bat fact from Rusty Doorknob. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Yeah. All right. There was a Batman show in black and white in the 40s and 30s where the Batmobile was just a normal car and he had a pot belly. Yeah, I was just watching uh, watching that. The other it day. was a bat belly. It, it's like that's where Thor's inspiration came from. Yeah. The dad bod. Yeah, Bruce did it first. Right? Come out where I can see. So now we have to do a really irritating series of uh, 
lever pulling without getting punched. They want you to go through and handcuff all of these guys and then do it, but that that takes a lot of time. So if you can just do your little bat jump, you have just enough time to get to all the different areas and pull all the different levers. They love levers in this game. I've noticed that. I also love that Bruce still jumps like he's got his cape. He doesn't know any other way to leap. There we go. It's just going from stylish to kind of awkward. Yeah. I like to imagine he does that like out on the town at galas and stuff too. Like tries to, to leave with a dramatic cape sweep. <laughs> Dang. Sometimes that guy will get caught on the box and we don't have to deal with knocking him out, but... The game's mad I got the world record last night and it wants to punish me. That sounds about right. But we get to see some stylish man with scar fight moves. Nice. Come on, guy. We're on GDQ, let us go. <laughs> There we go. So hopefully we can avoid him in time to trigger that. There we go. So we open that up and we find the pocket knife again from earlier that we didn't see because we skipped it. But there's a pocket knife that has the fake Toby kid's name on it. And now we know Joker is still alive. <gasps> At least we're pretty sure. Oh, the humanity. So it was a trick this whole time. A joke, if you will. What? To, to quote the the legendary Michael Yama, it's a joke. <laughs> and we skip through Joker's reveal monologue here, and come up on trying to do our third invincibility glitch, third and last one, which really works better if they can just both shoot you at the same time. Come on, perfect. At least we got that one first try, and now. We do a classic Batman move of, like, not killing them, but letting them burn themselves on the fire. That girl. Awesome. And if you can uh, get your, like, first-person uh, reticle out in time, you can skip through the whole Barbara phone call there, which is nice. Walk through some fire, because we are now invincible. Uh, it's pretty interesting. If you try doing that in like the any percent where you go through without a save file, uh, it will soft lock the game right here and punish you for trying to be invincible. So that is not a good time to get the invincibility glitch. We skip a cutscene with Harley Quinn, Joker, and a really, really tall clown guy with a rocket launcher and then just run away from them because we don't want to deal with that. We get this health pack for good luck. Even though, as far as we can tell, the only one that matters when you're invincible is the, the freeze glitch. More wheels? I was going to call them levers again. Those aren't. <laughs> and now I like the random wait. wind blowing right now. Yeah, which is, where's that coming from? I think he keeps his own fans, like maybe oh, at the back of the suit, just to like, look really cool. Th those are those are bat fans for sure. <laughs> like we are also bat fans, right? Today on Express Lane. Mm -hmm. And now we have a face off with the clown with the rocket launchers, which if you are doing the any percent run, you can get the invincibility glitch um, off of his whatever these are rocket fired things. <laughs> Which is kind of handy if you have really bad aim. Um, you can also beat him without being invincible, but it's just way That's easier. Because you can just get right up in his grill. <laughs> I'm sure it's very confusing for everyone involved. <laughs> oh, 100%. You can see Harley peeking out there. Just oh, yeah. yelling insults. <laughs> So he knocks over the tower she's in and lands on top of her, and she's disabled. We are on the last bit here. We're on Joker's blimp, where he's planning on gassing all of Gotham, <gasps> per the norm. And we just appeared through the floor there. What? Hopefully we only get tagged by lasers once. Excellent. 
It's like, I'm Batman, I'm just gonna go through lasers like it's no big deal. Just let me, like, shake for a second and I'm fine. <laughs> Excellent. So, since this is New Game Plus, we're, we're not gonna bother with Joker, he's just a pain. <laughs> we have the key to the door already. That fight was a joke anyway. <laughs> Mix and, match the chemical and now, we have a very important, confusing puzzle where we have to... I hope you paid attention to your color wheel, kids, in, in school. <laughs> Eventually, if you keep going and you can't figure it out, uh, he'll give you more and more hints. He's like, it's my favorite colors. It's it's my favorite colors. Do you know what my favorite colors are? Well, that's thoughtful of it. Yeah. And we're just, uh, you know, and then the little colored bar behind us gives us some environmental clues. Got to mix green and purple. I really wish there was a way to skip this because we're, we're up on the like the last bit of the game. It always gives me the nerves when I'm like, "Come on, mix the color, let's go!" Hurry up, color wheel! How dare! I took art class. I know how this works. <laughs> and we have one more confrontation. We're gonna skip with Joker, where he's like, "Well, if I can't win, I'll die," and he jumps out of the plane. And we have oh, to well knock the gun out of his hand and catch him, and that'll be time. Uh, I think uh, we have to not get hit by the balloons. <laughs> the balloon RNG is not with us yeah. today. Yeah, the, the balloon was offended that... Um, yeah. th 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 those are rare cooked, or those are cooked well done balloons. <laughs> Here we go, so we have to hit him three times, I think, yeah. Yeah, so there's two. Can we have a nice three? All right, when we catch him here, that'll be time. Time! Woo! Okay. Nice. GG. Thank you very much. Oh, I was a little worried after the uh, gas works went so poorly, <laughs> but we learned about Jaro. We did learn about uh, Jaro. My savior. <laughs> uh, I think I went a little over on time, so I'll just wrap this up really quick. Thank you all so much for watching. Asuka, thank you for having me. This was a blast. Um, huge thank you to Ratten and Agari, who also run this game. They've done a lot of the hard study work for me. I'm very grateful. Um, if you want to learn about the game, we have a Discord. Uh, if you just want to play it, I can help you get set up. If you want to run it, I'd also help you get set up, because we would love to have more people running it. Uh, it's a great time. It's a fun little game. Uh, you can see me at youtube.com slash ntgjod. I just made a video essay about this game and speedrun. Um, so that's cool. Stick around for Lego Batman, and uh, I'll see you all at AGDQ. I mean, pretty much everything that, that he said is what I was going to say, so GG's that. And yeah, also give double GG's to Joe for, again, just getting the world record last night, I believe it was, so... Yeah, it was, it was a test yes. stream. We were we were just like, all right, let's de-rust. <laughs> and everything went perfect, oh. so... Nice. But yes, GG's again. That was such an awesome run. Thank you. And like... Joe said we have one more run, which we got we gotta end it out with some Lego Batman. So yeah. stay tuned and we'll be right back to Express Lane. Have a good night. And friends, we are back for the final run of today's Batman or Jaro, I guess, episode of Express Lane. Uh, before we get to our run, I have one more final announcement, and that is uh, Frame Fatales has its next event, Frost Fatales, coming up March 3rd through the 10th of next year. That is 2024, and that is closer than you realized. Congrats. Uh, so use exclamation mark FF in Twitch chat, or just go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatales if you want some more info on a really heckin' cool group of speedrunners. And with that, I figure it's always a good time to uh, end a Batman-themed episode with some Lego Batman with Senor. So Senor, take it away. Welcome, everyone. I'm glad to uh, hop on here with some little Lego Batman to end the night. Um, I'm actually going to be running only half the game. Since there is a hero and a villain side, we'll be taking the hero side tonight. So we'll be playing with Batman and Robin. And I'm joined by my two commentators, uh, De Hamster. Yeah, what's up? And E Roadhouse. Yo, yo, what's up? Both runners of the game have very good times. 
and I'm gonna get started here in a second. Timer starts when I hit new game here. All right, so are we ready? I'm gonna count it down from three here. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so I feel like the biggest thing uh, to know with LEGO games is that there's actually two players you can control. Um, it's more of a co-op feature in a casual setting, but in speedrunning, we actually control both players at once. Um, so you won't see one uh, done by Sienor until the end of the level, but throughout the entire run, he'll be controlling both players with a controller and a keyboard uh, quite often. So it kind of introduces a huge realm of skip opportunity and optimizations. Um, and it's one of the cooler things of LEGO speedrunning. Yeah, so coming up, this room is really fast. Uh, pretty casual, there's no glitches, but uh, if you've never seen a run of this game, it is an extremely broken game. And right now we're coming up on the first skip. So there's a tech called BRCing or Batarang Clipping. And um, uh, there is a very specific little area on this glass gate uh, where if you stand on top of it and pull your Batarang out, uh, your character will warp downwards and uh, what happens then is uh, after he's downwards he's in between the um, two objects and one of them is the wall so he can just clip through the wall and get to the end. Yeah, these goons but, definitely give you a hard time sometimes. If you miss it the first time, you this is why this is a pretty heavy reset level in this run because these goons can get in your way if you miss it a couple times and it's a pretty precise trick here on the wall. So just trying to Get these guys clear so I can actually land up here, which is a very, yeah, very a, thin wall up here. It's a few hundredths of a unit that you can clip on, which is pretty There it is. Tight. But nice. yeah, he just clips, he jumps around because the walls don't have any collision from the outside, and he skips collecting a suit, which is another thing that we can explain. Um, so Batman uh, has, Batman and Robin both have four suits each and they give you certain abilities. Uh, right now, Batman has the demolition suit, which allows him to place bombs and blow up silver objects. Um, and we'll see, it's one of the less broken ones. There's another very broken one that we'll see in the next level. And uh, the skip that we just saw allowed Robin to skip you picking up the tech suit. Um, so generally we want to skip as many suits as we can because they just involve like picking up the suits, which takes extra time, so. But yeah, and here we are in the status screen. Yeah, did we explain zero explain studs that. yet? No, yeah, so yeah, you guys can. Normally, uh, saving or getting zero studs at the end of the level only saves a couple of seconds, but for this particular level, all those status screens I just went through there, um, those take a lot of time on just this very first level. So now that I got zero studs, it skips two extra status screens where it kind of counts your studs up, which saves like 17 seconds on like the first level to run. <laughs> It only saves yeah. that much the first time, though. It still saves time in every other level, but... Yeah, significantly less. Yeah. I guess I kind of want... Er, you guys can explain this drop and warp real quick, but I'll, I'll chime so, in So, yeah, um, a tech that comes from uh, being able to control two players is um, you drop in the other player to... Um, you hit F2 for them to be able to call into the game and uh, then you can control them. But if you manipulate your position and camera uh, precisely enough, you can get them to call in in places where they shouldn't be, which he just did to skip an entire room and just get them to call in behind a door, which is pretty cool. And then uh, if you want to explain uh, this tech right here, Evan. Yeah, yeah. so these are called e-glides, uh, which is short for extended glides. Um, there's a small window. Uh, you're basically just stopping your flight as soon as you can and then uh, starting it as soon as you can to kind of extend it, I guess. It's pretty self-explanatory. But if you just hold the A button as opposed to tap doing the taps that he does, um, you won't go as far. So that's kind of the whole point of extended glides. You get much more distance by doing... And it, they're kind of precise taps as well. You have to basically start tapping immediately after you start falling. And that's an exclusive yeah. for the glide suit only. Yes. And yeah, some it's other a, Yeah, it's very, it's very precise. You have about a three-frame window if you want to do it well. 
and a two frame window if you want to hit some really precise tricks. So uh, yeah, it's very, very, very yeah. tight. You but, want to yeah, so he's saw there, hamster. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's a tech called a BDJ. Um, it stands for battering double jump, and it's pretty fast. Uh, we'll see some more throughout the run, but basically. Uh, if your battering returns to you while you're in mid-air and you're buffering the attack button, you can actually um, uh, get another jump, which is just another broken part of the batterings in this game. Uh, there's a lot of tech with them that we'll see throughout the run. We already saw down warping and we saw the BDJ, and then uh, in the next couple levels we'll see an up warp um, with the battering, which is, yeah, there's just a bunch of uh, things that you can do. It's just a lot of really broken tech. Uh, that batterings allow for yeah you can see so, really yeah. early on this game is just full of tons of little tech everywhere to skip a lot of different sections yeah and the batterings are just really broken in general like you can see you might have not noticed it but when he was just holding the battering with robin on that little cog there he was actually he wasn't taking any damage from any of the enemies as well so that's just like a small thing but just kind of adds to how broken the batterings are in this game. I believe this boss fight right here, since usually hero levels all end with a boss fight, um, this one I believe is the longest one in hero. You guys might have to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe this is the uh, longest it, one. Yeah, it, it, it is the longest. Is. Yeah. This this boss fight makes this level the longest in the game because you usually enter the first or the, the boss fight at around a minute and 50 seconds and you exit this level at around 4 minutes and 10 seconds. So, uh... Yeah, it's a very long boss fight. I guess as I'm right here... I think right the next here, one is... Like, oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, right here is just like a prime example of how 1P2C... Which stands for one player, two controllers, by the way. I don't know if that was clear. Um, but just a prime example of how it can save so much time in these little puzzles. Um, like, for example, he was just pushing both those boxes with both players, whereas it would be way slower if you had to do it one by one. I guess yeah. as I'm finishing this fight, I can kind of explain um, just the overall structure of the run because Hero is separated into three separate episodes. One where you're kind of fighting the Riddler throughout, one where you're fighting uh, Penguin, and one where you're fighting the Joker. And uh, each is separated into five individual levels, so it's 15 total levels in the category. And we do go a little bit out of order, so we start uh, with episode one, of course, since that is the kind of one you get automatically loaded in, but then we go to three and then end on two. It's not really faster, particularly to do one or the other, but episode three tends to have harder tricks, so runners prefer to do that one uh, before two. But yeah, so here we see the first vehicle level. So out of the three episodes, each one has a, a one vehicle level and four sort of ground levels. And each of the vehicle levels are different. So this one, we're gonna see um, cars sort of on the road. And then we'll also see planes and helicopters in the sky, and we'll finish with boats in the water. Um, but So this one's with cars, and we're going to see a pretty big skip coming up here. It's one of the biggest in the run. Saves just over a minute. But uh, if you thought drop and warps were just for when you're on ground levels, that's not quite right, because you can actually just do them in this level and drop and warp your character behind the barrier and just skip the entire room which is pretty broken and it saves a lot of time for it's yeah, very easy to do too fight. yeah this is the shortest level in the run right here because yeah there are just so many skips and yeah you can see another use of one player two controllers here um just uh getting twice as many hits on the two-face fan and um, yeah i guess yeah. It's, we're already coming up to it's Probably the hardest level in the round, or most most trick intensive level coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the next level, uh, one dash four. I'm getting a little lag um, frames here. <laughs> oh, all good. Um, yeah, we're having a little bit it, of control. I believe. Hmm. I believe it has the first instance of a lag clip. Um, so basically, how these work, uh, if you alt tab out of the game, the FPS of the game goes down to zero, um, and then when you alt tab back in, it goes crazy so yeah. you can use it to clip through walls this first one's gonna kind of go crazy this is one of the harder ones uh you just this one you almost have to spam it it's it's a very strange uh clip here yeah the screen Actually, probably looks black when i totally forgot to change my v-sync back to on <laughs> there we go oh there you go don't think that one's possible with v-sync off let me uh clear some goons out here just to make this a little bit easier 
This is also yeah. a pretty reset heavy trick here. This, this level has a lot of different skips in it, uh, and they're all pretty difficult. But this level, the time of this level has come down, and like the three years that I've been running, this level used to be like five minutes, and now it's like uh, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you oh, can wow. beat the level in under two minutes. Won't be doing it here, but <laughs> yeah, this is a very like sort of difficult trick to control. This one, uh, so he's actually not alt tabbing as well. He's actually control alt delete. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That one, it's, um, it's kind of bang your head against the wall until you get it. It's, I think mm -hmm. it's my least favorite trick in the whole run, just because it feels very out of your control, and you're kind of just praying you clip through, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. but you saw there another battering double jump um, to jump over that barrier of flowers there. Um, and here we're going to see one more, which you can see a bit more clearly what's going on, but you can see he's jumping once and then getting the battering and pulling off another jump. And we didn't know that until recently that you could do that. But a here is a this, huge skip. This is a combination of a battering clip as well as a lag clip. Yeah, yeah that that's one, another pretty common thing. But I think runners can kind of agree that one might be the hardest in the run right there. It's very, very, very precise. The BDJ you do there, or sorry, not BDJ, uh, BRC. Yeah. yeah. So he made it through that third room pretty quickly. Nothing super huge there, but um, uh, you saw he kind of went back through a room, and that's for a skip that we're coming up, that we're coming up on here. So he went back and went forward, and that's to load in um, some unloaded uh, Lego bricks that he's going to stand on here. So he does a drop in warp, and he's going to do a third BDJ to uh, skip sort of some puzzles in this room. And we're coming up on our first end trigger. So he's going to jump on these Lego pieces right here that are unloaded and invisible. He's going to do a battering clip. And then he's going to hit a trigger uh, that's sitting out of bounds. And... Yeah, this is probably the most precise end trigger. Maybe, maybe one coming up is a little bit more, but this is a very precise yeah. one as well. There we go. Oh, very nice. nice. Yeah, that's very a super nice. difficult skip right there. It, it might not look like it, but you have to land on a, just the tiniest little pixel that's standing out of bounds. So you're half in bounds and half out of bounds. And then you have to jump from that around the normal trigger blind, like very blindly, and then come at the out of bounds trigger from backwards. And what that trigger does is it just completely ends the level. We will see a which, couple of those during this yeah. run that just completely skipped the boss fights to the level, which some of them, as you saw like earlier in 1-2, that was a very, very long boss fight. And that one I think we skipped, I think is about 45 seconds. Uh, it's even more than that. It's just over a minute, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so this is one of my personal favorite levels. It's a it has a lot of different tech in it, and it kind of shows off a lot. Yep. So here we're going to see more e-gliding. I like um, this level because it's a lot more platforming compared to the last one, which was like super, super skip intensive. Yeah, and we have the first punch launch coming up. Um, oh yeah, this will be a fun one. Yeah, so when you turn VSync yeah. off, uh, it uncaps your frames. Not that fun. <laughs> there we go. Um, and if you punch while standing still against some surfaces, you'll just fly up in the air like this. Um, so... It has uh, a lot of uses, really, like just being able to get up that high. Uh, sometimes if you get a good enough one, you can skip that whole uh, like monkey bars section and just get up here right away. Um, but that one's pretty hard to get. Yeah, it's fun because in this game, there's a lot of just surfaces you can go around and turn VSync off and try to punch up, and you can get way up in the map, just really, really high. Yeah. So yeah, here, this room has had a lot of different skips over the years, but um, the most current version that we have is doing another BDJ. Um, so he'll target Two-Face and then just jump over this gate. And now he's kind of standing out of bounds, and he'll jump over to these levers and just completely skip this room. Casually, this room is like a minute and a half long, but uh, you can see he just like basically walked in a straight line to the door there, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, and yeah, it's, it's kind of a common theme with BDJs. None of them save a lot of time, but throughout the run, there's like on average one or two per level and they, uh, they, they really up. add up. Yeah. This is another pretty long boss fight here. Not quite as long as the one two, um, but he's going to be building these uh, deflectors to for this laser gun so that they go back at the gun and break it. And so he's going to be beating Two-Face and Riddler all in one go. I don't really know what they were thinking with some of these boss fights. Like This <laughs> one is just unfathomably long for no reason. <laughs> There's a lot of intricate steps you need to take for weird reasons. Like Riddler just wants to jump in this gun for a little bit and then he just hits a deflector and gets out of the gun and hops back in. It's a lot of back and forth, this guy up here. Yeah. And I mean, you'll see in this next part, like he'll jump down here immediately, but then he just takes forever. And then he goes back up. The next time he'll jump back. <laughs> you get a couple of goon waves, but honestly, like you would think like, oh, once you kill the goons, then he'll jump back down. But no, it's just a set timer. They just kind of set a timer. You don't even need to kill those guys and Riddle will, Riddle will jump back down. Uh, yeah, uh, another thing about this room is that it may look like pretty linear and simple, but you can actually save or lose a lot of time here because um, you have to be careful not to punch the enemies like uh, Riddler and Two-Face too fast, for example, because they can get invincibility frames or eye frames, and uh, what that'll do is it'll make them invincible so you can't punch them again until this timer is met, uh, which is uh, kind of something that you want to avoid. and. It's just like a bunch of dumb stuff that can happen in this boss fight. So you're just trying to sort of mitigate little time losses and play as optimally as you can because most of the fight is on a timer. And that concludes episode one there. So we've defeated the Riddler officially. And now we'll be going to three where it's kind of the Joker episode. Where we'll be uh, kind of facing off against him and the other bosses throughout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this yeah. next level coming up has some crazy stuff in it. And our first look at the Batcave, so <laughs> get to see a little bit of Batcave. Right, it's just yeah. the hub of the game. And you'll briefly get to see you spawn right next to the uh, villain side of the game. Not doing that here tonight, but uh, you do get a brief little sneak peek of uh, you get to play as some of the villains you fight against in the uh, villain side of this game. You can see if you pull that lever over there, you'll go taken to the Arkham Asylum, will, where you get to play as uh, Clayface and Riddler. Yeah, so heading into episode three, this is definitely the most like skip heavy and uh, just like pretty broken episode. But uh, I think it, most people would agree that it's like one of the coolest ones. Yeah. Most people don't like episode one, but I think most people uh, really enjoy this one just because there's a nice balance of just like cool skips, but also movement and gameplay. Episode so. one gets a bad rap because there's a lot of resetting that goes on there and people get tired of playing episode one over and over. Let me see if but I can yeah, do the new see. little corner cut here. There's a lot of parkour oh, here already, skipping is. the goo. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of skips that are going to go on in this room one here. Uh, so uh, he did a lot of parkour through the goo there, and he's actually going to be skipping using a suit from Robin, which is the attract suit. And what happens there is you like pick up a bunch of pieces with the... Um, with his suit, but that's really slow because you have to pick up 25 pieces at a time. And we've managed to slowly route using that suit out throughout the whole run with a bunch more skips. So he's making his way through the room. He's going to do a clip here too, or no, right, actually I'll he's going to do a BDJ. BDJ. He's doing a BDJ, which allows him to just completely skip using that suit. And so now he's in this next sort of area. Oh yeah, you can explain this fun little piece of tech that's coming up here to... Yeah, so <laughs> these are called toxic builds. So he's going to be trying to build these things as he's taking damage from them, which interrupts your animation. So he's trying to like sort of cheese different cheese the builds as Let's he's dying. See if I dying. can hit the nice pretty spot here. Uh, oh, I hit it for a second. We'll yeah, have to go on this for pillar, on this pillar, there's like a little spot where you can infinitely build it if you hit it just right. But uh, this one, you're not so lucky, so you have to do this in three cycles usually. Yeah, so you're taking a death just so you uh, have a small window of invincibility to build a little bit more of the, uh, of the. I don't even know what those are, just gears, gears to open the door. Yeah. yeah. 
Our gear is to activate the le levers that open the door. Very complicated setup here in Joker's, I think it's Joker's home turf. Yeah. Yeah. Very long, very long process there, but it saves just a large amount of time. This is another cool room here. We get to see more uses of e-glides across this gap. So he's gonna skip uh, that poisonous gas right there. And then normally with the glide suit, you can't skip that gap, but with e-gliding, you can. And then there's a down warp right there with the BRC. So another example of that. And then you get to up warp right away after that. So you pop right back up through the ground. Yeah. He didn't, so it might have just looked weird how he popped through the floor there from the bottom, but he just held down the X button to pull out his battering, and then he popped up on the next floor, which is a property of some things. And, this, and there's another end trigger coming up you guys can explain. Yeah, this is a super broken, um, super broken room here. Um, so he did a... We'll have to take two on that one. <laughs> yeah, so he did a... Um, BRC there to clip sort of inbounds and then he did uh, he lagged his game to get completely out then he did an up warp here and then if you want to explain this right here what this end trigger is going to work yeah yeah so there's oh. to go back okay. <laughs> yeah so he's going to try and land on a piece of collision uh, that's like very close to that room um, and then once he does that he's going to attempt to do BDJs off the enemies here um, because there's actually an end trigger sitting right above him. There it is. Nice. I love um, how they decided to place it up there. <laughs> yeah, right. Very conveniently. That used to be a lot harder before uh, we knew about that BDJ. Um, used to be able to only try it once, really. Hey, and um, zero studs there, too. <laughs> I took that extra yeah. death and got zero nice, studs again. Nice. It's nice. Yeah, but really convenient too that he can just pan the camera down and see the enemies there. Oh yeah, this is a very cool level, another one of my favorites. It's very difficult, but there's some cool stuff going on. Yeah, there's trick in every room, I think, in this one and in the boss fight. Yeah, so here we're going to see uh, Bomb Suit Skip, which is another lag clip. This this episode has a lot of lag, lag clips in it, but he's going to position Batman through that build in the door and he's just going to clip through the door nice. which puts him into the next room and then this is one of my favorite rooms in the game just a really funny room here comes um, the second punch on so see if I can get up pretty high with this one yeah yeah and I guess we haven't really mentioned this but Robin like wall jumps are an intended mechanic of the game but I guess the developers didn't realize that you could chain them yeah you can just so, do them infinitely he, he's done it in a couple places in the run so far, but uh, yeah, you can chain them in between two close oh, together walls. I don't know if that's walls. making it. Oh, I was trying to see if that one was going to make it. But I yeah, here we're working. Way. There's a lot of ways to skip this room, oh, but this is. is usually the most consistent. So yeah, he just punches against that and gets pushed upwards. And then the third room. This is the boss fight room. Yeah, you can see him jump kicking through the water here. It's a bit of advanced movement uh, to get a little faster. This is another tough skip right here. Yeah. Very, it's actually very, very new. Nice. nice. Nice, yeah. That one's really hard if you mess it up a couple times because... Yeah, you get swarmed, yeah. Kind of like the text um, you skip in 1-1. One, one. If you start getting swarmed, it gets really bad. Yeah, so there's actually a lot going on in this fight. It probably won't look like it, but he's doing uh, cycle skips. So normally in this Harley Quinn boss fight, she actually will run around, um, and you have to go through multiple cycles for that. Uh, but it would take too long to explain. But with careful positioning of his players in the kind of circle in the center, he can actually just jump towards wherever Harley Quinn's going to go right after he kills this guy. And then he can just hit her really quick and skip the entire cycle. Yeah, you only have a. I don't yeah. know what the window is for hitting her, but it's a very small window. If you like, don't punch like a frame late or something. Uh, you mm -hmm. miss like a whole cycle, which loses I think like ten seconds. And there's twelve total cycles, or sorry, eleven total cycles in the fight. Yeah. Oh, there's wow. or there's eleven that you can skip. At least yeah, the like, first one you're locked into, but um, the other ones you can all skip if you use the double jumps correctly 
which is a big time save that just adds up. Mm -hmm. It's very punishing to miss, but it's very rewarding when you hit them. So, yeah. Here we have a this really weird drop in words. Nice. I don't really know how that one works, to be honest. It's yeah, just you can. Some weird. It's thing. just calling think, him in under yeah. the map. Yeah. The game, for some reason, thinks you're like below the map there or whatever. So when you call in player two, he drops in below the map. You can just go right under the uh, wall there to skip the whole room. Which that room is actually kind of long casually. It doesn't look like it would be, but... And he, he does a cool sequence break here. So he brought torpedoes from the first room into this room so that he could just shoot the targets blocking the door straight away rather than doing a puzzle. Yeah, I think the cool game stuff. developers just like assumed you would not have any torpedoes going to that room. They're like, yep, do this whole puzzle, get torpedoes. But no, we do actually have torpedoes there. Or, well, you can very easily get them. Yeah, unfortunate blank there, but he did get um, enough to finish off that boss fight. So, yeah. yeah, that boss fight can be very finicky sometimes. Like you'll just see torpedoes go into the uh, uh, scarecrow and his uh, plane, and they'll just not do any damage for whatever reason sometimes. Yeah. And yeah, you can see that was a very another another very short level. That one is barely longer than the other vehicle level that we saw. But this is another mm -hmm. pretty trick intensive level here. Yeah, this one is definitely one of my favorites. So we're gonna see another BRC lag clip. He pulls out the battering and he will lag his game and then hopefully get out of bounds here. Gotta time this one a little bit better, I think. I'm definitely letting go a little early here. All right, we'll go down. This is an, this is an alternative way of getting it. <laughs> yeah, so if you clip down, you usually get it, but you can also get it without clipping down all the way. A little optimization, but it doesn't really matter a lot here. And so, uh, <laughs> this is another thing where if you haven't seen the casual version, you don't really know what's going on, but he just skipped an entire sort of chase section with Killer Moth and a puzzle skip there. And because he skipped just a trigger, he walked through the whole room. But now there's another drop and warp to skip a pretty long room here called Tap Jump, because he's jumping near the taps, and he can call on the other player and this section of the room, and he's going to do a BRC Being a little finicky. You got to be very careful on this one because if this disco breaks, uh, you have to restart the whole level. Actually, it's a very bad yeah. one to miss. But he got it very nicely there. Skipped that whole room, super long room. That's the biggest, probably the biggest skip in this category. I think. It doesn't um, look like it, but yeah, I think it technically saves like the most amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's really it's, just scary too because the enemies can come over there and just punch the thing he clips out with. Yeah, yeah, also, well. if, if you get really unlucky when they're shooting at you, it could, like, deflect yeah, off your player and destroy the disco. Yeah. <laughs> Which that usually... It, it's happened before, and it, it kills some runs. It's never a fun thing to happen, though. So, yeah, here we have another boss fight, and he's actually going to try to force zero studs here. You can't get zero studs in every level, but this is one where it's feasible to get, and it's a nice little four second time save so he's just going to be playing through the boss fight and there's not really anything you can do to speed this up aside from just go for some cycles yeah go for but, some um, 1p2c basically yeah this is a, another place where 1p2c is pretty useful you can pull the levers rather than waiting for your ai player to do it which is pretty nice And yeah, so he's going to aim to get each player under like uh, 3,000 studs before the end, and then he's going to intentionally kill them with Batman's bombs, which is pretty nice. So yeah, he's going to wait for Killer Moth to hop down, and he's going to kind of... We kind of delay the second hit here just a yeah. little bit. But yeah, he's using the light bulb sort of thing. Like, moths are attracted to light, and he's using that sort of comically in this boss fight too. Take down, take him down. So yes, not super eventful. So you can see I have boss, a lot of studs on me now, but the zero studs comes pretty chaotically fast here at the end. At least, hopefully. There it is. Yeah, very nice. That was very close, but it, I know it worked out well. Yeah. So yeah, that skips about four seconds of the status screen here, because usually the status screen would like pan down into the bottom left, but it didn't because he had no studs for it to show. 
And this is, so, a, yeah. A, yeah, just episode three is on and on. This is another crazy level coming up here that has made so many developments through the years. Yeah, this is uh, sort of the classic hero level right here. Uh, this is what you think of when you think of hero story. But right off the bat, he jumps off that fence and he's going to turn like just to skip a puzzle and he turns that turnstile. And we're going to see a um, quadruple jump, I think, is what this is technically. But he's going to BDJ after a wall jump to just get a bunch of jumps in a row, gain a ton of height and skip that entire room. Usually there's like two suits you have to grab and all this. But we're seeing another BDJ to sequence this room because usually you're chasing Harley Quinn. Um, but uh, he just passed a trigger with her that she would usually activate. And um, now she's stuck and he can keep on going without watching little cutscenes. And he's going to do these jumps to skip through and he's grabbing the glide suit, which is super useful. Um, for this next room that's coming up. Actually, I totally forgot. Maybe this boss fight might be the longest, but we do skip it, by the way. But this. Oh, yeah. This yeah. actually might be longer I, than I the 1 2 one. I think 1 2 is still longer, actually. Here comes yeah, another quick end trigger. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the most difficult skips in the game right here, but. um, Or difficult to learn, but it's basically 12 blind e glides. All you have to work with is this trigger. And so you have to sort of work your way around kill planes and glide pretty precisely into an end trigger that you can hit from the back side of it. Um, coming back towards the inbounds area and um, it skips an entire boss fight. And I think the boss fight is a minute and 40 seconds long. That's a big one. That, yeah, it, so it, it's a very nice skip. I, that one, it looked like pretty clean because we've been like runners of the stand practice that all the time. It's one of the hardest skips in the run. It's very, very precise. So we it, it usually when you see uh, that skip in a run and it goes wrong, you could be sitting there for a long time. Also, I'm having a little bit of controller difficulties right now. I think V-Sync off is uh, <laughs> screwing it up a little bit. Should be good now. <laughs> I think the Bluetooth and V-Sync off do not like each other. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, but that Wait. skip is called Holy Skip, by the way. Skips the church. Yeah. All right, so that's episode three. We're on to the last episode. Uh, this is the penguin-themed episode, and 2-1 is one of my favorite levels as well. Yeah, this is a super cool level. There's a lot of just pretty, like, there's just a lot of cool little platforming stuff that goes on in this yeah. level. Yeah, this one, I mean, there's still a good amount of tricks in it, but it's a nice little break from all the chaos that Episode 3 just puts on the run. Yeah, Episode 2 is a lot less about, uh, like, tons of oh, skips back-to-back. Wow. -back Definitely more about uh, just, like, platforming. See if the connection on this gets... <laughs> the connection was pretty delayed here. I think that V-Sync off on, uh, in 3.5 is definitely screwed up the Bluetooth a little bit. I'm for some reason, yeah, I'm getting a really big delay on controller inputs here. Huh. <laughs> Let's see if, uh, maybe a little alt tap can fix this. It's kind of a meme that goes with this game is that, and it, oh, did that fix it actually? Uh, it's a meme that alt tabs sometimes just fix all your problems, which unfortunately I don't think this is the case. I'm you can try it, plugging it in. Oh, wait, it's Yeah, this is a little, oh, yeah, yeah, this is Bluetooth. Um, Normally I don't have this set up with Bluetooth, but today was a special occasion. Let's see. Might go quickly to the Bluetooth settings on my laptop here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Sorry All for the good. quick delay. No worries. Let me just completely remove it and just reconnect it. Yeah, I guess we can talk about what's going to come up here. Uh, uh, this level has some pretty uh, intense uses of e-gliding, which we saw. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most extreme example where we can just skip through this entire just massive second room just by gliding over all of it because we can get pretty, we can conserve our height. So, uh, yeah, a lot of cool skips. <laughs> or not a lot, but there are some pretty cool skips Let's coming see. up here. We're still trying to locate the device right now. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, like my other controller that I usually use for this game, it just the stick drift became so bad on it that I had to use a different controller for the event here. And uh, 
I need to do this one through Bluetooth. It's being very annoying right now. Hopefully we get this back up rolling in a second. Worst case scenario, I can go on keyboard, but that <laughs> that will be a little funny if that happens. Uh, that would be very funny if that happens, actually. Let's just say I'm not a keyboard runner, and I don't think there really is many keyboard runners in this game. Still trying yeah. to locate it. This is being very annoying. I guess worst case scenario, I can... Uh, we could ditch the webcam, and I could connect my uh, adapter here. I think that could solve it. Yeah. But I'll try I'll try for a little bit longer here. I don't want to delay anything too much. I can. Hmm? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, in that case, uh well while we're getting some controller issues sorted out, we were gonna take a quick break. Really quickly hydrate friends and we'll be right back. Yeah this is fun. I would all right, everybody, we are back. We have the controller all ready and set to go, and I will pass it back over to Sinor to finish out this run. All right, awesome. Controller's fixed up. I'm starting from the exact spot where I left off. We'll do a little three, e. two, one, and we are back at it. So yeah, we got a wall jump here that he's gonna jump from this uh, little ledge uh, windowsill. This one's a little precise. Oh. It's you gotta yeah. hit like the one part like of the, the window. Perfect so. angle. There yeah. it is. Nice. Another nice. example of wall jump abuse there, but he's gonna sort of just parkour his way through this room and do a BDJ to get up to this um, top of the area. Luckily, there are a lot of backups to uh, this BDJ if you happen to miss it a couple of times. It is a weird timing. There it is. Nice. Yeah, the weird thing with BDJs yeah. sometimes is, uh, depending on what you target with the battering, it'll take shorter or longer to come back to you. So you really just have to do it based off reaction. Also, I think we, I think I figured out the cause of why the controller started that way, and thankfully we don't have to do anything with changing the V-Sync anymore for the rest of the run. But yeah, so he's going to be skipping a boss fight here by uh, just doing a BDJ. Or he already skipped it technically, but he he got really high and used e-gliding to skip a boss fight. And then he's making his way back through the room and he's already at the end thanks to e-gliding. You just skip a bunch of puzzles with more suits and stuff like that. These enemies here can be pretty annoying. Sometimes they're you're lucky and they kind of drop down, uh, but here I guess everyone decided to stay up and join Batman. And then oh, we have our first quick kill, I believe. Here, um, this episode has three quick or no two, I guess two quick kills, yeah. Um, so uh, he's going to trick Catwoman into walking off of this ledge. We'll see if he gets. Oh, I didn't get the punch uh, off. Yeah. There is a zero cycle that you can get, but awesome. uh, it doesn't save that much time. So I did. You can get zero studs this way too. I so. kind of forgot about the zero studs there. It's all right. <laughs> Only a but, couple yeah. seconds lost to that. I was totally yeah. thinking that extra death I took <laughs> would get me the zero studs, but then I didn't realize breaking the fence would get me some more studs back there. Uh, this is the final vehicle level right here. This is a pretty cool one. Uh, not a lot of skips. It's more about just like gameplay because it's pretty precise and uh, controlling the boats like optimally is really difficult. So, um, Sinor is really good at this level. So we're gonna see him sort of kind of. Also, yeah, the around. the bat boat, which is Batman's uh, boat here, it has like a towing mechanic on these bombs, and this towing mechanic in this game is very, very. I wouldn't call it broken, but it's very finicky. Very it, It's, yeah. It's definitely yeah, something like a level. pretty big, like, I don't know, just like skill barrier if, like, compared to like a, like a normal uh, runner who starts up this for the first time. It's definitely something you have to like kind of learn over time by playing this a bunch. Just to understand the physics of the towing of the bombs here. It looks kind of simplistic, but the way that they drag is just 
completely different to how you would think you would like hold the controller for it. But yeah, you'll see there's a lot of like just random little enemies throughout this uh um throughout this room so he'll try to take care of those as he goes through but you can see uh, for this room you have to shoot four targets and sort of do some mini little obstacles obstacles along the way and he's at the end already yeah, because one p2c speeds this up yeah here comes like a notoriously sort of this like boss fight by a lot of the uh players also this boss fight's kind of why uh in the speedrunning community we nicknamed this level instead of Bapo battle it's trash boat battle since uh we do not like this level <laughs> specifically this boss fight yeah this one relies on four um four bomb toes into ooh, like pretty precise areas like it looks like or where the game tells you the bombs need to go isn't really where the bombs actually need to go so um you kind of have to deal with towing them as trying to go as quickly as possible while also yeah, particularly um, that last them, bo yeah. uh, toe I did on the very bottom. It's like a weirdly specific spot they want on the bottom for the bomb to hit. Luckily, I got it right away because if you miss it one time, you kind of get into a bad cycle of missing it. So I'm glad I got that right away to avoid any potential yeah, that was disaster. A, that was a really nice boss fight, though. Or really nice level in general. Not a lot went wrong there. So I always love to see it. This is another super cool level. Um, tons of skips everywhere. One of my favorites. I think this one Very might have like one of the more visually awesome. like appealing skips right at the start here. We'll see if I can get this yeah. within a couple of tries. Oh, might have to. That was a little too narrow on that jump. We'll see. So what he's Robin trying to. Just... Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Or, yeah, he's trying to manipulate Robin to jump through this gate, which he did there after a couple tries. Um, and you can just get him to jump to the other side, and you skip having to use the bomb suit. So it's another example of doing a little thing to skip having to pick up a suit. And now we have another chain wall jump thing where you can get out of bounds with some poorly co uh, coded collision, I guess. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> We're going to have to take a quick restart on the level. That's uh, fortunately a soft lock. If you actually, oh, well, yeah. you, you can call in the other person. Uh, usually, I, I wasn't able to in the past call in from inside the uh, yeah the water okay, tank yeah. there. It doesn't really make much of a difference yeah. time-wise, I guess. Isn't, normally, when you call in, then you have to do a long process of getting the other player back. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get the visually appealing way of this skip this time. There it is. You can kind of yes. actually see Robin just float straight through the wall there. Let's see if I can hit this one this time. Okay, there we go. There we go. So yeah, he hits the door from behind there rather than uh, having to do some puzzles with Robin's water suit and uh, Batman's bomb suit. Uh, yeah, so there are a couple suits that you don't see at all on the run. Um, uh, and that's just because we've managed to find ways to skip all of them. Mostly um, Batman's heat suit and Robin's attract suit and also his dive suit. For the water and that some a lot of these suits Ooh. only have uses and uh -oh. that unfortunately one is a level. one try <laughs> trick right there i barely missed it if you uh you can get a little uh battering double jump to start that off to make it just possible to make the ledge up there luckily the backup's not too bad it's uh, maybe an extra 15 seconds just to quickly build these stairs and uh can you guys explain like you can get zero studs as well in this boss fight coming up. Oh yeah, so here we're going to see a boss fight with Killer Croc. Um, and uh, this is another boss fight that doesn't really have any skips, but you can um, uh, repetitively take deaths in the toxic goo uh, to lose all your studs in this fight. And here we're actually going to see some... He's like pushing Croc away from some of the boxes, and that's to... Um, uh, it, like keep them from throwing them, which saves uh, small amounts of time on the animation. Just uh, a nice little time save. I like this boss fight since it's a fun little mix of like managing getting zero studs and trying to do as many pushaways on the, uh, I guess, dishwashers and stretchers. I, there's a variety of things Croc tries to throw at you here. TVs too, I guess. <laughs> There 
we go. And the zero studs, so that's a extra couple of seconds. And yeah, so only two levels left from here on out. Um, this uh, next one is a pretty notoriously difficult one. I think most people would agree it's the second or third most difficult one in the run behind 1-4. And it might not look like it, but just the skips in it are incredibly punishing to miss and uh, just super difficult in general. A lot of precise stuff. So you can oh. see he... We're going to do a little BDJ backup, I guess. <laughs> so he's he's gone into the side room here, and usually you wouldn't come in here at all in story. But uh, there is a clip that he can do right here. Um, he's going to do a BRC on the, these little boxes and then he's going to clip out of bounds and with the way the rooms line up he just hits the trigger into the next room by doing that which is a cool little skip it may just look like he's doing normal gameplay but um Let's see if i can get this drop yeah. more. there it is there we go so now he drops him out or drops him in behind a gate there to um skip having to kill a bunch of goons which is a bigger time save than you might think and we're going to see a brc here See if I can get through, there it is. And yeah, so he clipped through that little room to skip using a suit and, or I think at least, and- uh, Yeah, you don't yeah, use so, the uh, tech suit there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, and then he, the Sonic suit actually only has one use left on the run right here, and that's just to pull that lever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the can... only use in the whole run for the Sonic suit. Yeah, yeah and you can theor theoretically skip it too, but um, it's extremely difficult and saves almost no time. Uh, so nobody in there, nobody goes for it in like a reasonable setting. I'm trying to get... So, yeah. I think we were briefly talking about in 2-3, but how many suits do we completely just skip in here? Is it, is it three? or is, oh, No, it might just uh, be two. Um, well, there are only a couple... Like, uh, in the in the actual speed run, speed wise, um, you skip three, but you can actually skip every suit except for the bomb suit and the glide suit and the magnet suit and the text suit. Yeah, well, let's and just say there's if even I, more that we're working on. If yeah. I went yeah, for so those strategies, four. this run would be a, a couple of hours long. I don't think that yeah. would be anywhere close to as short as 45 minutes. But yeah, there's a lot of cool, like, in-depth sort of challenge run stuff for this game as well. So, here we're going to see a boss fight where he, like, takes abuse of Manbat's sensitive hearing and plays a really bad music on the speaker here. Uh oh I'm going to miss a cycle here because these goons can be a little bit annoying, but it's all right. Usually missing a cycle is only a couple seconds. Oh, I, sh I should have just kept holding the turnstile, so can actually, I don't think anyone wants to hear that music. <laughs> but you, you can hear how bad it is, though. <laughs> we, we can prove to you that it's really bad. <laughs> Alright, last level coming up, where we have uh, finally fight Penguin. And hopefully ended off with a nice little quick kill to just instantly end the level. It is actually a pretty difficult quick kill now nowadays. We used to get the glide yeah. suit here in this first room, which made the quick kill a lot easier. Uh, but now we use a uh, battering double jump that could just completely skip the second pond here, which you initially needed a glide suit for in the past. Yeah, so this room is like the final example in the run of just like, it's a pretty long room casually, but um, if you just skip the suit with a, some of the tech that's in the game, you can just make your way completely through the room. Uh, just basically just walking in a straight line. And yeah, this is the last room of the game right here. It's a pretty long one, but he's going to um, use these penguin minions to blow up these treadmills. Um, I always found this as like a really weird boss fight. I I'm not sure what concept they were going for here, but you know, you yeah. use the penguin minions that penguin sends out to deflect them into these penguins that are running treadmills that charge this whole place. Which... I don't really know how well that corresponds to the movie. <laughs> don't think it corresponds that well. Yeah, I think the storyline, at least for the Lego version, is that the penguin minions are going to take over Gotham and that the penguins on the treadmills are like charging up energy and we're breaking them by doing that. 
But yeah, so we're coming up on the quick kill again. So this is another example where we're trying to get him into a kill plane so that uh, Penguin instantly dies rather than you having to punch him and he glides away and then you punch him again and he glides away. Yeah, hopefully I'll be so, able to yeah. get this one within a couple of tries. This is a kind of tricky one. So yeah, the developer has left some goo in right here and he's going to manipulate Penguin, depending on his attack animation, to just walk into the goo and instantly end the level. Time is coming up, by the way. It's right when Penguin dies. Oh, he got yeah. away there. Yeah, this yeah, one's kind of tricky. A little too low. You, you have to kind of hope that the Penguin AI, like, it is somewhat in your control, but it is pretty precise, and you kind of have to hope the Penguin AI goes to the right spot here in the goo. There it is. Time. There we go. And that's time, yeah. Oh. GG's. All right, yeah, yeah, GG's. Really great run besides the control issues, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure how much that cost me, but uh, let's see. Do I have my Lotus time here? We do actually time this game uh, loadlessly on the normal leaderboards. Uh, it looks like my, my timer decided to also mess up earlier in the run, so <laughs> I don't have the Lotus time up there, but I'm sure it was probably around like two or three minutes faster than the uh, stream time. Nice. Yeah, GG's, everybody. And um, where, can they, where can they find you? What are you playing right now? I mean, uh, all of our, I don't know if our Twitch handles are here, but uh, we do stream on our Twitch channels, uh, Batman. And I actually uh, wanted to kind of shout out an event coming up for this exact category that I ran today. Uh, it's our top 10 runners for this category are all doing a big LTA online. Uh, this starting, this, I think it's December 2nd and December 3rd. Uh, and that'll be on yes. like the uh, Lego speedrunning Twitch channel, which is kind of just a Twitch channel for all Lego speedrunning. Uh, and that'll be an LTA stream there for two days for this exact category, which will feature our two commentators as well as myself. Oh, cool. Yeah, a and ton of the top runners there, so that'll be a pretty fun event if you want to come and watch. It's Twitch, uh, Lego Speedruns is the name. Nice. Yeah, yeah for Hamster and Ebro House, what, what are you two up to right now? Yeah, uh, I guess I'll go first. Um, I will be playing Batman soon for that event as well. But I'm also currently running LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga as well. Uh, it's kind of one of the other games I run. Uh, and you can just find me at E Roadhouse on everything. Uh, yeah, I also stream a lot of LEGO games. But uh, currently, right now, it's mainly uh, LEGO Batman. And I will also be competing in that event. So, yeah. Awesome. But yeah, everybody give GG's one more time to Cenor for that fantastic Lego Batman video game run, or the video game run. But uh, with that, that is it. We are all bat fact out. But although we are going to be sending you to a wonderful um, speedrunner in a little bit, I do have one quick thing to say, and that is you should be tuning in to twitch.tv slash quick tomorrow, starting at, well, actually, we have a giant super episode of sorts for tomorrow uh, starting at 7 p.m eastern time we have game masters and they're going to be playing super metroid arcade which is going to be amazing and you should check it out and at 10 p.m eastern how to train a speedrunner is going to be training us how to play super mario brothers wonder you know that that little unknown mario game that just came out that everyone's playing well now you're going to learn how to speedrun that game so until next time, take care, everybody, and nighty-night.